Hello, 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 and welcome to the cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the, where we put the T in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your reality thirst. I am your girl Lana, the resident diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea. I love me some tea, so if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. And today I am just drinking lemonade from a restaurant that I went to coming home from church. And it's lemonade. It's delicious. Some of the best lemonade in the state of Alabama. I will say this period. They know what they're doing. Um, it's really good. So, yeah, I'm just having lemonade today. Period. And I am Anissa Long, also known as Sam DMB, also known as Sam DeMonteverde, your fellow friendly 5'4 trans, non-binary, Filipino-Canadian, mentally unstable hot mess, hailing all the way from Toronto or Scarborough if you want to be, Toronto, oh, sorry, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, or Scarborough if you want to be specific. Um, And today I have some vanilla almond milk because I just wanted to finish up these Oreos, Um, given that it's the thanks, uh, Halloween season, sorry, we already celebrated Thanksgiving, Um, but... Um, my mom, or I don't know if it was if it was my mom or my brother, but one of them bought like a whole pack of pumpkin spiced Oreos, mm-hmm. and they figured that I would be the like the only one that likes it. So I was like, okay, so I, I just you know, cause Oreo and milk, especially when it's not lactose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how it's supposed to go. Okay. I think. Pop up, All right. Uh, and I'm AJ. I'm a 22-year-old college graduate who plays way too much Smash Bros. to the point where they hurt their fucking thumb. So, yeah. Uh, and today, we are just drinking some water. You know, just, just staying hydrated. It's not in a cup. More of a bottle situation going on today. But, you know, hey. And we do have another guest. So she'll be back. She was here for the start. But she'll be back. I'm sure of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but we are talking about... Oh, and see, ask, and I say she'll be back, and what? She is back, so let's welcome Zoe to the podcast. Hey, Zoe. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys hear me? I don't know. I can't hear you guys, but um, I can't hear you guys, but um, hey, um, this is Zoe, um, Everyone knows me by Zoe, and I can go by she or her. Um, I like watching. Well, I don't know what to say because I didn't hear what you guys, <laughs> what you guys said. But um, I just wanted to. Um, I like watching like little reality shows like the Wall. Like I'm very competitive, so I like watching shows like that. I just kind of like you know exercise the brain a little bit. But um, I'm happy to be here. I'm having a little technical difficulties right now, but you know. I'm just, we, 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 <laughs> well, we are talking about the mold today. We're just going to start with episode four. We're going to go through four, five, and six today. Um, episode four. Um, uh, the bank is going into the bank heist. And that's what we're starting with, with the bank heist. But before we get to the bank heist, they have a little twist that they wanted to try to throw at us at the beginning of episode four because we saw last we saw was Dom was eliminated from the game. Everybody was sad. Oh, we don't want Dom. Everyone but me. I'm I'm talking about the players, AJ. I'm not even talking about you. It's just the Dom Cruise of it all. I know. AJ's not a fan of Dom Cruise. But I mean and I get it. I understand it all. But Dom was gone. The players were sad. They were like, oh, no, Dom should have been there. He should have been here. And then, so at the beginning of episode four, they start off giving Dom a slight opportunity to come back into the game. But he needed the help of the same people who was just like, oh, I'm so sad that Dom is gone. Dom shouldn't have had to go. Dom's such a great guy. And so they said, well, if you all love Dom so much, help him out, get him back in the game. And, and so, not only just him, but also $10,000. Yes, $10,000 alone was coming with Dom. So it was like, okay, great. Dom, $10,000 added to the pot. Let's do this. So Dom is in a car right outside the saloon that they are in. They're in the saloon and they're drinking beers, 
pints, if you want to call it, and they're waiting for their next mission. And Dom gets on the walkie-talkie and say, hey, hey, y'all, hey, guys. It's me. It's Dom. And they're like, oh, my God, Dom is back. He said, I got a chance to get back into the game. All you all have to do is help me out with these questions, and I can come back in. And they're like, oh, oh, okay. So he asked, I think it was Pranav got the first question. Yeah. Pranav mm -hmm. got the first question, and Pranav was like, yeah, here's the answer. All he had to do was answer the questions, mark off what the yeah. right answers were, and two of them were going to be wrong. He had to figure out what is the right answer? To so give. the important part about it, though, is it was also the questions were personal questions about Very the personal. other players. Mm -hmm. And each of the answers was a city. Yep. And then one of the so there were 10 cities and there are nine players left in the game. And then out of the questions, one of the cities would have been left over. And he had to text that answer to Alex in order to be let back into the game. Yep. And, and he then, had, I think, was it 15 minutes to do that? 15 minutes? And then another thing I will say as well, too, is that a key, key, key part was that if they were to involve him and bring him back, they would have to, uh, they would add $10,000 to the pot as well, mm -hmm. which was something. I was just kind of like, obviously, this is a good opportunity for the mole to take advantage and kind of like, you know, control the narrative in the group and be like, let's not like to avoid adding money because obviously you don't want to add another player because that makes it worse for you. So that was a perfect opportunity. But like that was like the key part. Do we add $10,000 to the pot or do we not? What do we do? Right. Exactly. And so I think. They after once this like I said, Pranav started off the questions. Pranav gave his answer right away. Didn't think nothing of it, nothing twice. Like, hey, here's the answer. Marked it off. He marked it off. And then the next question went to Sandy. And it was about a city. <laughs> a city that <laughs> AJ and the purple. Uh, the She's city. the purple is purple since purple Kelly. Okay. But uh, come on. She, purple. <laughs> she um <laughs> Her question came up, and she was like, no, I'm not going to help him. No. And everybody's like, what? It's $10,000. She's like, mm, nah, no. Because, because he already knows who's not the mole, because he guessed somebody, and whoever his guess is, he's going to know they're not the mole. So why would we want to bring him back because he already has an advantage over us because he knows who he guessed and he knows that they're not it, but we don't know who he guessed. So we won't know that this person is not the mole. So he'll have an advantage over us. So no. And then Casey comes behind him and is like, you know what? I agree. No. We're not going to, I'm not going to help him. No. No. You know, so behind everyone whenever someone got something to say oh yeah you know what i don't agree with you know what i do agree with that you know what i don't agree with that Actually, it's like casey get, pick a side pick a side okay. stand up casey and stand up. the, the stand funniest up. thing about this whole situation to me though was you had pranav was like it was like well i already gave my answer so i can't really weigh in on this and then you have a couple other people like will and i think joy both wanted to give mm -hmm. him the answers everybody else was just like no, <laughs> no. And I'm like, okay then. And I mean, yeah. in the moment though, it made me very suspicious of Casey because let's be real, Sandy had been this so much that there was no way in hell she was going to be the mole. No. But Casey had been given just enough of an edit that her being the second person to do it, I yeah. was like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> I think so. ever since the previous episode excuse me or sorry not the previous episode like two episodes before when prison episode about. episode two sorry the prison yeah. episode episode two yes like the, the prison first episode, episode, episode two where casey kind of fucked up the entire plan um that oh. kind of threw my suspicion on her and i noticed that she was again like aj said getting more of an edit and i was like oh nah my eyes on casey right now my yeah my eyes got on casey during the red button challenge that was when I was like, girl, I might think, but, you know, because she, she just did some weird stuff during that challenge and, like, blew their whole little plan up. And it was just, it was just a little weird, but 
other than that, yeah. Yeah, for me, with, with Casey, when she threw me on her was, um, I believe, it, it, it's in the episodes we're about to, we're going to speak on a little bit uh, later down um, the podcast, but um, that's when she started throwing my suspicion on her, because for a little bit, I was like, okay, well, maybe, like, you know, she's trying to help, like, I, was, like, I wasn't thinking too much on her, because, you know, I was just like, maybe she's, like, genuinely just trying to make this money, she's a COVID nurse, like, she's probably really, like, that's just in her nature. But then after a while, when the certain, I believe it was episode six came on, that's when I like was like, all right, like, what what are you doing here? Like, mm-hmm. um, but she's smooth with it though. I will say is that Casey's real slick, like, cause Casey's like very like, she already knows people are gonna look at her as this like kind of soccer momish kind of like look because she's just like has this personality like where she's like, okay, you can go and trust her, you can like be friends with her, she's gonna take care of you. This, you know what I mean? She has that warm kind of embrace personality that I think that kind of worked in her favor a lot more because you can easily be like, okay, well, I won't do this and you won't even be able to tell the difference between, oh, it's because I'm a mole or it's because like, I just, you know, want to let everyone have an opportunity. So I think that was a good strategy for her. Yeah. Um, The other thing a lot of people may not know about Casey though, Casey was the second oldest person on the cast. The only person older than her on the cast is Joy. And Joy's not even that much older than her. She's only a year older than her. I don't know. and especially because nobody trusted Joy the entire season. Right. I feel like Casey kind of slotted into, like, the stereotypical mom role of the group. And it made her very easy to just avoid suspicion from a lot of people. Nobody was really suspicious of her up until a certain mission we'll be talking about later. Yes. But um, it may or may not involve some mountains. Um, <laughs> but, you know... Um, yeah, I really like this mission, though, because not only does it, you know, Dom can accomplish it on his own. Mm-hmm. If his information on the personal players was enough that he could solve the questions on his own, he doesn't need their help, which well, we see he got really close at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, he did, but I feel like Dom, like with Dom, like he has this issue with second guessing himself that I don't think that would ever he would have ever gotten too far because as we've seen in even previous episodes before episode four, like Dom was always like kind of like, you could t- like it was always seems like he was on the outskirts, like he didn't know what was really going on, like he was just there, like you know what I mean? For me personally, like for me personally, I just felt like he was just there, like he was just not there, like he was a character, like he was he had he added value to the like group obviously, but I just felt like when it came to guessing who the mole was, like I didn't think Dom act like really kind of knew, like he wasn't like I think he was just playing a game, and so that's why I kind of felt bad that Dom left because I actually liked Dom as a player because I was like I think he's catching on, but I'm like. He's not realizing. I, I felt like he wasn't realizing it's a game. Like when Joy and when Joy and this was the previous episode when Joy like sacrificed that twenty five thousand dollars. I'm like, why are you getting so mad? Like I understand why you get mad, but you gotta contain that. You gotta know how to like use that because you snapping on Joy, but like you know you don't know what's going on. She might be the mole. You snapping might make you look like the mole. Whatever the case may be. But I think it was a good decision. Like uh, Lana was saying a little earlier that. Um, they didn't add Dom back into the back into the group. Even though, like, I love Dom, like, I think that was, like, the best decision, to be honest, like, r- regardless of that $10,000, but the money heist was a good mission, though. I do think, mm-hmm. like, the money heist was a good mission. It could, like, easily get... It, I think, for me, the only person that I would have probably switched when it was to, like, who to give directions was Pro, uh, Pro, 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 Proveny, I believe that's how you pronounce his name? No. Prov- yeah, pro, pro, yeah. I would what? switch with someone else just because, like, I liked Casey up there because I wanted to see what Casey was about. But I probably would have switched him with like Joy or Avery or something like that just to see like how they behave and how you know their behavior. Is. Okay. Well, once we get, we we can talk about that a little bit more once we get to the actual heist. But as we said, they didn't. Give, agree to give Dom any answers. They were like, nope, nope, nope. So Dom went to, he was like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. If they ain't going to give it to me, I'm going to do it myself. And he came really close. It was between the two. He had two answers left. Uh, and one of them was the right answer. He just picked the wrong one to send in to Alex. He had 15 seconds left. So he was kind of like going back and forth. Is it Mar- Marob or is it Seattle? Yeah. The, the funny thing about it, though, because there were 10 cities on the list, right? Mm-hmm. The So nine of them were all, like, major cities in the United States. So, like, Philadelphia was one. The correct answer was, like, Seattle. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. The 10th city was Melmore. Melmore. Right? 
Right. Now, I have lived in the United States my entire life. Never uh, heard Lana, of Lana, you have too. Zoe, yeah. are you a U.S. person? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any of you all ever heard of Melmore? Because I had. I have never heard of Melmore before. I don't I, know what a... I heard. Actually, I heard of Melbourne. I will say, I heard of Melbourne. I would have been saying It's not Melbourne. It's Melmore. Melmore. M E L M O R E. M O R E. Because I've know. heard of Melbourne. That's I've heard of Melbourne, but I've never yeah. heard of Melmore. I was like, what yeah. the heck is a Melmore? So I may or may not have just yeah. looked it up about two minutes before we got to this part because <laughs> I knew we were going to talk about it. It is a tiny fucking town in Ohio, right? And I mean less than like 6,000 people, okay? So either somebody is from this tiny town in Ohio, right? Take or the- they have some sort of memory attached where they got stuck on the side of the road in Melmore, Ohio, or whatever. Jacob. Probably. That's a Jacob answer. Probably. <laughs> Very much a Jacob answer. I'm I sorry. Mean, Mel- I mean, he, Ohio. Ohio. He, was, he was from Ohio? He is from Ohio. That's why I said it's a Jacob answer. Yeah, Melmore, sense. Ohio but, is a Jacob answer. But the other thing, we mentioned it briefly in the first uh, podcast. Dom is not from the United States. Dom is from Canada. <laughs> Right? So, from Toronto. Mm-hmm. Anissa, quick question. <laughs> we didn't know of Melbourne, Ohio. You have no idea, right? About Melbourne, heard of Ohio? Either. Yeah. No. Okay. So, why I can understand because he ended up picking Melmore, was his last guess. I can understand. Like, I would have picked it too <laughs> because I would have been like, all of these other places are right. the city. Yeah. And I, I like understand Mel- that, where it's like, oh, Seattle's such an obvious answer. Compared it's so to obvious, Melbourne. right? Nobody's going to think Melmore is right. not the obvious answer. Even then, too, like, it's just one of the things, like, you know, for me, if it was between Melmore and Seattle, I would have been like, especially if I was out of the country and I didn't live in the States, I would have been like, you know, I'm going to go with the city that, if I, that I kind of hear about on, like, on shows or whatever. I'm going to go with Seattle because that just sounds a little more popular than Melmore. Like, I've never heard anyone really talk about Melmore. Like, I probably would have still chose with Seattle, and that's why I say, like, Dom, like, are you are you a little... I, I, I think... I think he was kind of trying to go for the obscure thinking it's not going to be that obvious because all of the other cities were like Philadelphia, Chicago, blah, 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 Miami, like major cities. So it's like, is it a major city or are they going to pick a obscure city for Mm -hmm. this to be the right answer? And I've never heard of Melmore. I've heard of Seattle, but that might be too obvious. I get it. I probably would have did the same thing and I would have been sending my butt back to the airport head on home because I've been like, it can't be this obvious of Seattle. So let me be clear because, again, I looked up Melmore City, US, right? And this is the only one that popped up. So if they're talking about a different Melmore, okay. No, it's this is that. on Wikipedia. This is the only one that popped up. It is Melmore, Ohio. It's relatively close to one of the Great Lakes. I'm not sure which one of them borders Ohio. That's on me. Anissa might know, but I have no idea. Um, I yeah, I mean, you can't. I don't know. Canada people apparently like this. Show. I don't my, know. my guess is probably Erie. like like Michigan or like Erie. One yeah. of the five, yeah. probably Erie um, or Michigan, because Michigan. It is Illinois. less than a square mile. It is 0. 0.59 of a square mile. Uh, 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 with... AJ, I don't want to be rude. Nobody cares about Millmore, Ohio. Exactly. Uh, that's that's what point. I'm saying. I, that's what that's I'm saying. That's just, Why is this an answer? These, I know. I'm not, and I, I, I'm not trying to be rude to you because you're spitting out these facts, but I'm like, I don't really care. I don't really. I don't. Like, Melbourne, Ohio is like nothing. nothing. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if you live in Melbourne, Ohio, and you're watching. I Nobody just, is watching. This. I'm just, it's it's only six thousand y'all, so y'all can all talk about me and six, we just lose six thousand viewers. It's okay. I'm okay with that. That's fine. But I just don't care at this point. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Melmore. Um, but we move on. I don't know if there was a little bit of uh oh, not on. that. Um, so <laughs> sorry, my the mole trailer popped up. Um, so Dom does not come back. He's heading back to the airport. He's heading to the airport, heading home, and the rest is going on their next mission, which is a bank heist, which very much gave me. Um, escape room vibes, but I loved it. I loved it all the same. Um, one part they had to break up into teams. One team was going to be the cash team, the other team was going to be the gold team, and you needed to have two people who are going to instruct and navigate 
the rest of the team on what to do and how to do it. So they were trying to figure out how they were going to do it. And they ended up picking Kazi and Pranay, Pranay, Pranav. Why am I? Because I'm thinking of Pranay, Pranoy, but Pranay in the community, Pranoy. But Pranay of Pranav. Say it again so I don't have to resist. Pranav. 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 So I don't mess it up. Okay. So Kazi and Pranav are. Did I say it right this time? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. They are the people who are going to give the instructions on what they have to do and how they're supposed to do it. What the cash team is going to have to get ten thousand U.S. dollars exactly, not a dollar above, not a dollar below, but ten thousand dollars exactly. So they think, oh, this is pretty easy. So it's Sandy, it's Jacob, it's Avery, and it's that's it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, and then Bernard is the one in the yeah. out of the two of them. Yeah. They're going to do it, and Pranav is going to tell them how to, you know, because they know some of the money is not all U.S. dollars, so they know they're going to have to change the money over into U.S. money, whatever. Then the other team is the gold team. Kazi is leading that team with Will, Joy, and Greg. And Casey. And Casey. I always forget that lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they're going to have to do the gold team in case Kazi is going to give them the instructions on how to go and unlock all of these lock boxes with some gold. There's supposed to be some gold in those lock boxes. Uh, so let's start with the cash team because I feel like we should get, we have to break this down in, with teams. So let's start with the cash team. The cash team goes in and they find out really quickly that the money is not all U.S. bills. They're going to have to change, exchange it into from, I think it was rupees. It was some yen there was in some there. Rupees, there was some Canadian money. I, it was, I remember seeing some pounds. There were, was some pounds. Yeah. There were some yet. Some Israel uh, currency as well. There was some uh, a currency from Israel as well too, I believe. Mm -hmm. I remember they said there were eight different currencies yeah. involved. Yeah, I remember I Vietnam being another one as well. Yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. that one was yeah. the one that had the that crazy was the one that had rate. the big one. Yeah, the exchange rates was crazy. So Pranav Pranav had to do the exchange rates. Like, how do you, you know, change this money from fifty thousand rupees into what dollar is that? You know, it, it was crazy. Me personally, let me just say this. I don't like exchange money rates at all. I hate it. I'm like, if somebody can do it for me, please just, somebody could probably rob me blind if I went out of the country and was like, here is some money, change it over to, because I don't know. It just never clicked to me how to do it. So I would hate this challenge. I would, could, I would hate it. I would hate it. I, everything about it is like, I don't know what I'm doing. I can count out 50,000 of these things and I don't know how much that costs. I don't, that would drive me crazy, but they did what they had to do. Honestly <laughs> though, and again, this is coming of someone who's watched every episode of the season and a couple of the other seasons before this. This is the most impossible task they have ever had on the mole. Okay. Um, okay. Not impossible, but I would say the perfect opportunity for the mole to like mess something up. Anybody can mess anything up. So I think this actually was like kind of the perfect one, not like the last one. Because with cash, you're dealing with having the right. agency, and then you have to also help someone like do that math because it got to be quick too. And then you got to watch someone make sure they're not putting too much in one pack, and you got to count all that money. That's what, a lot of money to count. You gonna mess up, especially like working retail. If you ever work retail, mm -hmm. but then too with like well we're just talking about the cash part but i'll say for that like it i feel like it was a good mission because that's there's a lot of things that could go wrong in that situation bad me to interrupt you go ahead i don't think it's a bad mission I, I don't think they really had a ton of bad missions this season maybe one, one or two of them i wasn't a big fan of but my problem is this okay so most of the tasks on the show human error is like a thing that you can account for but it will not single-handedly one small human error will not cost you the entire mission mm -hmm. most of the time. So, like, we saw it with, we'll talk about the Jacob Avery situation in a second, <laughs> but do you, we don't think Jacob was actually trying to sabotage those counts. I honestly think he was just <laughs> counting 51 for 50 and 49 for 50 sometimes because he's a human and humans mess up sometimes. And 
you know, they said they can't go one dollar over, one dollar below. Mm -hmm. He was messing up counting the U.S. dollars. Right. So when you're getting to that point of like, okay, you have to count out fifty, fifty dollars, just fifty dollars in ones. And this man is counting 51 and 49. You knew they weren't going to win this mission immediately because mm -hmm. they can't even count out U.S. money, much less Vietnamese money, Canadian money, all of it. Yeah. And not to mention that, but you also have to worry about if Pranav's doing the math right. Right. If, and that's also not to mention that Sandy and Avery also could be trying to sabotage because we've seen from both of them in the past that they're both willing to do it. Like, unless all three of them counted that money like four times individually <laughs> all of it and pranav had a calculator that corrected his errors when he was typing and all of that there was no way they were winning this ten thousand dollars no i like the mission i think it's really cool it's really neat they needed to have some sort of like minor grace window of like we'll give you 50 bucks here 50 bucks there just in case you go a little bit over a little bit under but ten thousand on the dot uh-uh. No, no way this is happening. I feel like that's like I feel like that's such a good opportunity because because the the margin for error is so is like super slim, almost non existent. Like I feel like the mold could be pointed out to literally anyone that screws up. Whether whether it's intentional or not. And if you and if you just so happen to be like the actual mole, obviously that would be great for you because they no one's gonna be pointing the finger at or not not as many people would be pointing the finger at you kind of thing. Zoe, you have something to say. Oh, I was so I was gonna say was that like I agree with uh, Anise, like and he said like that, right? Like I feel like the cash part was like one of like Compared to the code name, we'll get to that in a second, to the gold thing, but but um, I feel like that with the money situation, that was a perfect opportunity to kind of mess that up, where I feel like who, like, I feel like, Prana, uh, Prana, I'm going to just call him Pra, I feel like Pra, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I feel like when Pro went up to, like, when he was doing the calculations, I feel like that was a good part. At that point, when it came to, like, oh, I have to do calculations to divide and figure out what currency is what, I feel like, okay, yeah, I would trust him to be up there. And, like, I won't say that out loud, but I would trust him to be up there because I wouldn't, I think he's smart enough to be able to do those calculations. But when Sandy sat there and was like, oh, you said, I did not say uh, 500, I said 50 or something mess like that, I was like, no, you did say that, and that that's why he came up with that kind of, it's just like the communication part as well too it's not even just even about the on the, the the counting it's the communication because you have to properly communicate what currency like from what country and how much is on that dollar bill or that bill to the person so he can make sure he does the math right so for them to be like oh well pra he just grew suspicions for me i'm just like i can't really be suspicious of him because did I communicate properly? What was what was I looking at when I him to divide up that currency so I can make sure I got the money right? Because where I feel like the mess up happened was probably with Sandy's money, not with Jacob. Because even though like like AJ, like you were saying, because Jacob, I, I, I I'm the same way with you. I feel like Jacob was just innocently like making a mistake. I don't really think there was no harm, no foul. Like I don't think he was deliberately trying to throw off the game. Avery, yeah, but like I don't think he was. But I do feel like Sandy, like, I feel like she kind of threw it off a little bit. And now thinking about it, just saying that, didn't Avery say that she was going to add a little bit more dollar bills or something like that? Or she was, she said she was going to recount it. But did she, didn't she add a little bit more money when she recounted it just because she had to make sure because she said, oh, it was, it's 49, it's not 50. Because I think she added more money too. So I feel like she threw it off as well too. But that's just me. I, I mean, I think. I probably would have looked like the mole to everybody if, if I did that challenge because it's like, like you said, human error, just the counting thing wrong. And you know how when you count something so fast, the bills stick. Like you said, if you ever worked in retail, if you ever worked in a place where you had to deal with people's money, when you're counting, it's like you're counting fast, like, okay, 20, 40, 50, 50, 50. And it's, sometimes something sticks. Sometimes you think, you're like, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me do it again. Counting and make sure you're pulling money apart. So I get it. I don't think Jacob was doing it 
on purpose to be the mole. And I feel like Avery was just like, mm, mole behavior. In that situation, she was very much like, this is mole behavior. I'm not, I don't trust it. I don't think it was that. I think he was just miscounting. But she did mention going behind him, adding a dollar. Because to make up for the lack of his dollar, his count off being off by one or two, she'll add. So it it was all wrong, all the way wrong from the beginning. Like everybody was all the way wrong. The Renard's count was out, was off due to the communication he was getting from Sandy with 500,000 to 50,000. Jacob miscounting $1 or $2. Avery adding money to try to make up for the dollars. Uh, and it was just, it was just a lot. Everybody a lot. screwed up. Everybody all of them screwed did up. something wrong. All of them. Yeah. So there was no way we, I knew it, even though the cliffhanger, they tried to give us a cliffhanger at the end of this. We like, we just know, ain't no way they got that 10,000 on the dot. Like, I no. will also say, I did appreciate that Sandy went from purple to pink for about five minutes in this episode <laughs> because she no. actually got a tiny bit of an edit. So we'll give her that. I um, mean, she, she needed it. She was trying to show out episode six. She was trying to show out, no, wait, I'm sorry, episode four. She was trying to show out episode four. She wanted everyone to, hey, no, I'm still here. And which, uh, well, okay, so she, she needed this edit. So I'm like a big edgic person when it comes to Survivor, like looking into the edit to try to figure out what's going to happen. I'm really into it. So in the first episode, I'm like, okay, they've only focused on Joy, Will, and Osei. So one of the three of them is going to go home. And then Osei went home, right? So mm -hmm. as it went on, other than Samara, who literally stayed straight purple other than oops and hair tie, um, th they introduced Sandy as a character. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm like, oh... You waited four episodes. Well, it looks like her time's coming soon. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. But I was like, let me stop. I don't want to get ahead of myself. <laughs> no, no, that, no. Was that was a gag. No, that was like, what? when she started getting edited, I was like, ooh, oh, okay. I see what y'all doing. But it was funny it's because I'm, it was funny because I was like, uh, Okay, all of a sudden, like the no, her saying the no for Dom is like, okay, I see that. That's, that's whatever. Then it's like 50,000 to 500,000. And Sandy's like, I'm doing, and, and we're doing this. And I'm, I'm like, okay. Well, oh. also, I can't remember who it was. I feel like it might have been Pranav. But after Sandy said no, one of them had a confessional and they're like, oh, Sandy's a very quiet person. And she keeps a lot of her thoughts to herself mm -hmm. and all the stuff. And I'm like, but have we seen that? Because, I mean, yes, she has been quiet. But, like, there's a difference between being quiet and not having any screen time. She had no screen time. I mean, she was <laughs> quiet and she might have kept her thoughts to herself so much. So yeah. that the production didn't even hear her thoughts. She yeah, like, back to, that, back to that moment as well in the bank. Like, I think of, like, Greg having a confessional saying, like, oh, Sandy doesn't speak unless spoken to. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, the like, whole thing, though, because oh, go ahead. Zoe. Oh, I was, I was gonna say my thing is like, how essential of a player was Sandy really? Like, what was Sandy really adding, adding to the group? Like, where it even even mole wise, and just like in general, just helping the group in general. Like, what? exactly are you kind of adding into that you know what i mean like what are you like what are you really essentially adding because for me like everyone was saying like sandy doesn't speak like unless spoken to like sandy doesn't really add a lot and then especially when they did the edit for episode four i already knew what was gonna happen i already knew what was going on but it was just like i felt like sandy kind of messed up her own game when that happened so to speak because you didn't like you have to have a balance like even though you don't speak when spoken to you have to have that kind of balance to be able so that you don't get on people's show when you do speak up like when she said no to dom i was like hold on that liquor kind of changed my girl up like i was like yeah, yeah. take the wine away from her take the wine because i was like she's getting a little tipsy because like she like i feel like that liquor she had that courage of that that liquid, liquid courage of power is uh confidence is what they say because mm -hmm. when she took that sip and she was drinking, you know, she was, they were drinking in the saloon. When they were drinking, that's when I was like, okay, yeah, like, when she said no, I was like, yeah, her true personality coming out. She was just trying to, like, she don't know y'all like that. She's trying to play the game. But I'm like, the moment you did that and you showed, like, who you really are, instead of kind of, like, uh -oh. like, 
You getting robot voice though? Yeah. Yeah. Might okay. hit a bad area. Okay. Yeah. But the uh, I, Anissa, were you the one that said what did she bring to the missions at all? No, Zoe. Uh, Zoe, Zoe said, said that. that. Okay. Literally, I looked over all of the missions that Sandy was a part of, right? Just refreshing myself from it. The only thing that I can recall her doing that was legitimately beneficial, that made the episode at least, was her getting on that stack of items that she did in the prison mission and jumping to get her key early. Other than that, she did not do anything the entire season that we saw. Like, she did nothing in the boat mission, like, the, the seaplane mission, whatever. She didn't do any of that. She, the team didn't bring back any money from the jungle. They, uh, I mean, she, they, she was on the pro, the team that won the red button mission. Mm-hmm. But do we really credit that to her? No. She is, like, the last person, I think, that deserves credit from that mission. Maybe her or Casey, the only two that didn't really do anything there. But, like... She really didn't do anything super helpful in terms of contributing to the pot, and she didn't stir up any drama. So when you really connect those things together, I can understand why she was purpled. Like, I get it. I I feel bad because, especially because it's not even like a show like Survivor where you can say, oh, I was on Survivor. It's just, I was on the mole, and, you know, the mole, like... Yeah, I just feel bad for her. You know, it's it's not for lack of trying. I would assume it's I just agree. the edit didn't show anything for it. I agree. Yeah, she chose the wrong strategy. Strategy. That's how I feel. I don't think Sandy is a bad player. I just think she stro- she chose the wrong strategy. And when she decided to do certain moves, I feel like she did them at the wrong time. And that's you know, obviously we'll get to that point, but that's where it messed her up. But even then, when it came to the cash part, as much as Avery aggravates me herself. Sandy, in that moment, was aggravating me because I'm like, Sandy, you already drew attention with the whole no to Dom. But now you're going to sit here and argue with the man about what you just told him. I'm like, girl, I'm like, y'all need to, I'm like, Sandy, we need to get it together. I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is going on, Sandy? Agreed. I agree. But then we move on to the gold part because the cash people, they didn't cash out. They got their money together. We we, we, we pretty much know how we feel about their results, but whatever, we move. Uh, we go to the <laughs> gold part, and Kasi is giving the instructions, like these clues to these names on these boxes where they had to unlock. It's like a thousand boxes in there, and they have all of these keys, and they're numbered, and they have to go through all of this stuff and figure out where these gold, where the gold is in these boxes. Now, she has a ledger with names, all the names, and I guess, the, and the names were supposed to be the clues to the boxes with the gold in it. Okay, so I don't know about y'all. Y'all can tell me how y'all would feel and how y'all would do with this. And people were making it sound like some of this stuff was obvious, like you should obviously know about these names maybe I'm slow maybe I'm stupid but I don't know obviously why that was so obvious of why these names like you should have known El Dorado meant something you should have known you, El Dorado meant something I'm like if you told me El Dorado I would have thought of a car like I'm not thinking of a gold Something that has to do with gold. You say El Dorado to me, and I'm like, that's a car. So I'm like, what do you mean? This is obvious. Like I said, I am not the smartest person to share. I'm not going to claim to be. I could be stupid slow, and y'all could be looking at me like, girl, what is wrong with you? You should have known this. this is obvious, but it was not obvious to me. And some of these names that they were talking about, I was like, what? What did you want? What? I will say is like I wasn't it highlighted the one the yeah. names yeah the I thought that too I was like literally was there was like one name highlighted in gold that's what I that that was the one I was like this is highlighted now I was like is that the edit the putting the highlight in there or was it highlighted on the ledger 
they did that on purpose so we could see but my thing is that's where i knew Kazi. like that's what irritated me because that's when i was like Kazi, this is that's when i knew and which was the perfect opportunity for her to mess everything up don't get me wrong but i was just like you should have gave him like one and then like try to play it you know what i mean but, but was it gold though on the ledger was it gold it, i don't it, I, it, like it said gold so it's all right it has like a yellow outline here i don't think it did on the actual ledger i think it they did I think that for the edit, edit. Yeah, was I think it? we edited in. Yeah, that's I think right. I don't know. There were also, there were also uh, like other names also that were highlighted in like no, red and in blue. No, like they were edited that stuff in for the people to know that these are the names. The to see because when I looked at the ledger, like it was a full book of lists, but she could still see in the book like when she because she was revising it, she could still. So that's what we're saying. Like she could still see it, and she could still pick, especially as like a software engineer, or something like that. You can decode things, and that's why they pick her because you should have been able to decode that. But for me, like, and that's where I was like, that's where they fucked up because I was like, if I was causing, I wouldn't have not took the opportunity to go up in there knowing that I'm the mole because especially if I'm uh, if I'm a software engineer, just like how, just like how a uh, joy what, what? It's the first. What? Hello? I can hear. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we move. Like how Joy in the first <laughs> mission when she took the map and they everyone thought that she was supposed to know how to read a map because she a commercial pilot. Baby, um Joy's a pilot? What? The, they, what? They, Wait, I don't that. think they mentioned that enough. No, I, think I don't think they that. I don't no, think no, they no, know. <laughs> Pilot, like she's a commercial, so that's what gagged me because I was like, What is going on here? I'm like, Girl, you, you should know how to read. So, with Kazi, I'm like, Why would you even take the opportunity to even like try to like be be in a position where you have to decode something to give information to the other team? Because the thing is, I think because they everyone at this point knows that she's a software engineer, just like how surprisingly everyone knows that Joy's a pilot. I mean, okay, I just want to point out, we know what Kazi's job, we know what Joy's job is. Anybody in this room, can you tell me what Jacob does for a living? He's, He's a, a firefighter. Okay, yes. I forgot. I'm just dumb. Um, But, like, we don't talk about, like, what Will does. We don't talk about, like, some of these Will's people. Will's a brand manager. Brand well, manager. We, okay, we know, but that's because we talk about it. Like, we would know. The show <laughs> that talks about a couple of different Because some of we... these jobs are not important. Like, we don't care about <laughs> Will being a brand manager. And we know Jacob's a firefighter, but we don't care. We care about Joy being a pilot and Kazi being a software engineer. You see what's happening. We care about the people we care about, and we talk about them. We don't talk about people we don't care about. True. We talk about brand managers yeah. and firefighters. We don't talk about those people. We don't care about those people. Um, <laughs> right, but sense. Like Joy, well, Joy and Jacobs made sense, but Jacob, we have to go later down the episode to even why that made sense. But joy's definitely made sense because joy obviously had like like i said in that first mission like girl you're a pilot like you don't know how to read a map don't drive my plane <laughs> when i'm on the plane with you don't okay. drive please don't take my plane. Okay. Oh, but, but, i just want to point out this is when i started being sus of Cossie because lana you can say all you want that you wouldn't have known but like i okay I when i hear midas right the first I thing about, about Command place. King Midas, right? Nope. That's At y'all. least I for me. Like, El Dorado, the mythical city of gold. Car. Like, a couple of these things. And maybe I not would... all of them would have jumped out, but at least a few of them jumped out to me. And... No. Because, okay, let me, let, me be, let me be real. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the sharpest tool of the shed. I know it. But when you said Midas, I thought about a car dealership, a car uh, repair shop in Chicago that I grew up with, Midas. That was the, we got the Midas touch. That was what I thought about. I ain't know about no King Midas, because you know what? I didn't like Greek mythology, and that wasn't my thing. So if that's not your thing, how do you know King Midas, and how do you know? <laughs> Lorna, even the thing that's you're referencing the Midas touch, do you know what that is? It's, no, because I don't know mythology like that. I do a commercial... <laughs> From a see. place in Illinois that had a car repair place Lana, called the Midas. Whole, the whole thing about King Midas was anything that he touched, it turned um, into gold. See, I don't that's know that. Midas that's why, that's, that's where you thing. get Midas touch from. And I get it, and that all makes sense. But if you don't know mythology, if you're not a student or a stand or even remotely into mythology, you wouldn't know that. Who knows? This girl's a software engineer. That doesn't mean she knows mythology. That's all I'm saying. We um, gotta be fair about I, this. 
I just want to say this. Um, I know this don't got nothing to do with the mall, but what did Greek mythology do to you? Because like, another, I ain't pay no attention to it. I ain't pay no attention to it. No, because I ain't pay no attention to it. That's what it's Zoe, is. Zoe, 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 Zoe. This is a fairy tale. Yo, Lana didn't grow up in the Percy Jackson era. Okay, we oh, cannot. I, <laughs> no, we cannot. We're always per- what is Percy Jackson? Is that a <laughs> show? Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move I on. am 23 years old, baby. I am sorry that I'm talking to 20 year olds and y'all know stuff about 40. I was 10 years in uh, 20 years above this. Hold on. What y'all we not going to do is shade me about my <laughs> lack of. Uh, we pop- move. <laughs> We move. We move. Because, okay. like I said, when I heard El Dorado, I thought of a car. That's because El Dorado's was a car in the 70s. Long story short, Posse gives them a couple of keys and boxes that line up and stuff. They open up some of these lock boxes. Nothing. They find, like, little trinkets and stuff, but not gold, which is what they're supposed to be looking for. And both groups fail their mission. So that's a grand total of zero dollars added to the pot, which then puts them at a grand total of thirty five hundred dollars out of a possible one hundred thousand. Dear God, they are in bad shape. <laughs> All right, but and I was gonna say too, like before, like we move past that, like El Dorado, I would have thought of like stealing money. I think he was like the gold mines. That's what I. That's what I would have probably. Thought of. But anyways, but like uh, y'all smarter than me. I get it. I, we I are, accept that. Not, <laughs> I accept that. No, no, no. But I will say is that mission was just, if you want to say like, so Agent, what you were saying earlier, like it wasn't like the best, best mission. And so to speak on that, like, I guess when they both didn't complete the missions, I would say that's where it just made me upset. Cause I'm just like, dang, at least one of y'all could have won it. And that's where it turned into like one of not the greatest missions for me. Cause like I got frustrated. Cause I'm just like, dang, like one of y'all could have like one of y'all at least could have won something but y'all both like lost i mean and cash the cash side didn't lose by that much like they lost by a little bit so that's understandable like it was innocent kind of losing over there but with the gold like y'all didn't even i mean causing like you were really like not trying no effort you were and that's what was making me mad even more was because Kazi was just like oh let's let's just like let's just put in a good effort you guys like motivating like girl find some answers like you're just sitting here trying like oh we'll just try this try that. I'm like girl because they have the clues too but like you're up there with more clues like you're the reason you're up there is because like like please like do something like mm-hmm. yeah it was it was they they left us on a cliffhanger on from episode four going into episode five trying to figure out who had they always said the gold team came back with nothing they got no you you can cliffhang that because they got nothing and so we're gonna go into episode five. Um, episode five starts off with them trying to figure out if the cash people were going to get any money. And like we said, we knew from the way they were acting and the way they were counting and the way they were doing stuff, it wasn't happening. So they didn't get anything. They come back with nothing. So they leave this mission with nothing. 3,500 is left in the bank still. And they go home with that. So it's the lowest, as they say, it was the lowest amount of you know, in a pot in Mo history, you know, people at this point in the game, like it should not be this low, but it is. And um, yeah, that it was it. depressing. It was, it was depressing. just well, because it okay, especially because um, the they released the first five episodes were like the first release of batch release of episodes on Netflix, and by the time they got done with episode four, I'm like. They better win something in five because if they don't win anything in the next episode, I'm probably just like, Oof. you weren't the only one, AJ. Because I was literally sitting there, like I was like, the both of y'all didn't, you know, I was about, to, I was so like, I felt like a disappointed mother. Like I was like, I'm disappointed <laughs> in both of y'all. Like I'm just Honestly. like. I'm like why didn't the both be- but I was glad coming into so episode five is where like you know they had the bomb money and they all sat at the table all to enjoy some food but I was kind of glad for that part that they added that in because mm-hmm. it was obviously adding a little bit more interest and like you could kind of pay attention to like some of the key notes of how the players were playing but also it was like thank god like give them can we give them a shot to earn some money because Kazi's playing too much because I mean well I don't want to well- say that but you know, like people playing too much, Joy playing too much, <laughs> be playing too much. Will 
Avery. Like, yeah. <laughs> Avery plays like, like, yeah, they play, they, they doing a lot. So, okay, so episode five, they go into their next mission. Now, and they, quiz, they ha- quiz, well, the, quiz. Oh, oh, yeah, wait, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we got a quiz. <laughs> see, you see how we feel about, okay, anyway. Oh, um, we move. I won't oh. go there. We, it's a quiz, and the quiz happens, and... Uh, <sighs> This is what we were talking about earlier. I, I think everybody has been waiting for this moment. We have been pushing effortlessly <laughs> trying to get to this moment. And then as soon as we get there, I want to brush past it because purple is purple is purple. <laughs> and oh my God, I don't even have purple around me, but I want it because purple. Lord, purple your freaking purple. name thing is purple. That'll work. Yeah, purple is purple is purple because baby Sandy gets eliminated. <laughs> bye, girl. Bye. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye. 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 <laughs> in the moment, right? They were doing the results in the quiz, and I, I was just sitting there. I'm like, "Well, Sadie's going home," and I feel absolutely nothing about it. Nothing I about not it. Like, <laughs> I was, happy. I was happy because I told y'all she irritated me with the cash card. Because I, like, you, I was like, one thing. I know it's a game. I know. Don't get. I know it's a game. I know it's the mobile game. I know you have to lie. I don't hate to do this, but Sandy, please be for real. You did tell that man. <laughs> It was 500 instead of 50. You told that man that. Like, please be for real right now. Like, girl. She did. She did. You know, then you lied and sat there and was like, trying to make it seem like you felt bad for Dom leaving. But then you were like, you switched up hard. You didn't even try to play it smooth. You switched up hard. And, and like, then you go sit there at the end. I was like, I feel bad. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. I told y'all, the producers were like, she need to put that wine down or she got to go. <laughs> she, didn't want to put the down. Like, she, she was just too much. I was like, girl, if you go sit there and say, and then everybody looked at her like, you feel bad. Girl, girl. I, I'm okay. so <laughs> because I wouldn't have been able to see her later on down there. Because I was thinking about it. I was like, how would Sandy work throughout the later episodes? And I was just like, I'm kind of glad she left because I was like, I just don't know. I just, I don't know, like, because, like, you you obviously are not playing a smooth game. Like, Kazi wasn't, anyways, mm-hmm. then, like, a lot of people weren't playing, like, because I got to keep forgetting, because I watched. I watched yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard. AJ, we have to stop AJ2 right. from going too far, too far down, too far down. Right, but, yeah. but I don't, Sandy, I was kind of, I was just happy about Sandy leaving, because, I mean, like, like, AJ and uh, Nisi were saying, like, purple, purple player. Yeah, you purple. Are- and I would like to formally announce the official retirement of the purple marker uh, for the remainder of this episode because I can firmly say that the eight players left in this game get an edit for the rest of the season. Period. So yeah. there's that. Joy, um, eating okay. the girl up. Yes. So <laughs> here we go. So after Sandy is gone, we move to the next part of this mission. And the mission starts off with them going into this town and they see the train Gimpy. coming. Huh? Oh, uh, the town's called Gimpy. 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 Really Interesting up. name for a town. Gimpy town. Whatever. No. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> Not we're going Gimpy. Into, we're going into Gimpy. And <laughs> they see the train, the steam coming from the train. They're like, how cool. So this mission is broken up into three parts of the mission. Two, pe- Three people are going to be on the train. Two people are going to be in the car. And three people are going to run. And they have to go pick up these packages. It's a mail train. That's what it's a mail train. And so they have to go and pick up these packages, but they have to beat the train before it gets back to the station. And so they have to, like I said, three people run into these different houses to get packages. And the people in the car have to drive themselves through these this road, windy, small <laughs> tiny roads and dirt roads to grab these uh, packages out the mailbox. And then the people on the train have to use these sticks and clamps to stick out of a window and grab these bags off a pole. I think they made a massive mistake before they even started the mission. Uh, Please talk about it. Please talk about it. So here's my issue, okay? They did not get told that they had to do three people on the train, three people running, and three people and two people in the car, okay? They had eight players left. Why did you put three people on the run, okay? You know these packages are not going to be heavy, you know, because you're carrying them for seven miles. They already told them these are going to be light packages, nothing crazy. 
you should have put one more person in that car. Oh, the car. No, in the car. Because the train, they could do the train with three people, okay? But the the biggest issue is you have Jacob and Joy in that car, right? Jacob is driving, which means who is in charge of Joy? Navigation? Joy on the navigation. Joy. 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 Who put Joy on the map by herself? For the second time. For the second time. No, the second time we're going to put Joy on the map by herself? <laughs> Baby. They know what happened in the jungle. Like they do. Not, like they, 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 we discussed it. We look they, at, okay. Look at the they rest of Joy's team. It. Look at the rest of Joy's team. They are all gone. All three of them are now out of this damn game. Okay, <laughs> Sandy's gone. Tomorrow's gone. Jose's gone. They got cursed My by the map. Joy with the map is cursed. I just don't get it because they even talked about it. They. My thing is, if your suspicion is Joy. This entire time, their suspicion is joy. They're like, oh, joy, 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 joy. And I'm like, if the suspicion is joy, why are we going to put joy, who I'm suspicious of, by herself with somebody else driving? Like, they can't yeah. do both things at the same time. So joy is going to be the one ultimately responsible for getting this person to the destination. I'm not going to leave Joy by herself. If I'm suspicious of Joy, I need to keep my eyes on Joy. They well, just, at, at that point, though, they knew that they had to have Will and Pranav as runners because they are the only guys left, really, other than Jacob, who really have, like, good quality endurance and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, Casey, we know Casey can swim, mm -hmm. but I don't know how well that translates to running, but... They had to go seven miles in 90 minutes. That's not that if they would have been going straight the entire way and not stop, they probably could have done it, but like pretty easy. But when you really think about it, they also don't know where they're going. They could get lost. So if they end up having to run at any point, they're going to be behind. I get why they put the two of them there. And to an extent, I get why they put Avery there. She's probably the most athletic of the women left because we know damn good and well Greg is not going to do well on that run. No. So, yeah. so that's actually what I was going to say, too. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt, but that's actually what I was going to say was that for me personally, I probably would have had Avery on the train and I would have had Kazi on the run, if anything, or even Kazi on the run or in the car. Just because, like... I feel like Kazi being on the train, I was like, if we're going to talk about who's the most, even, even, not even Kazi, let's just take away Kazi, but why did you think that Avery was more athletic than Joy? When Joy, like, literally, like, works out, like, that's one of her, like, in the, well, they obviously can't see that, but we can, but, you know, when they say the little hints and, and they give the name and the job and everything like that, you know, the little casting photo that they had, literally it says like that she does 100 squats or something like that that she likes to work out so for me i'm just like why do you, and then you could tell joy by how she looks that she works out so i'm just like why didn't you, you guys pick joy for the run because like avery was slowing them down like that was the most frustrating part because i'm like they would have ate that up they would have got in which they did thank god but like it wouldn't been that much of a hassle if you would have just like did what you needed to do, and it was put just so Avery put on Avery in the car. of the other two teams. Put Avery in the, in the car, car. and then you Avery have Willem Pradov who can just go and because the thing is, they did not slow down, they walked a little bit every now and then after about five minutes where they're running, but they did they kept a pace the entire time. What they would have gotten there 15 20 minutes before yeah, the train sure. and before the car. And they barely got there with the bike. A bike. A they bike. Also, they wouldn't have had to use the bikes. Neither they would have them to. wanted to use the bikes. Because they could have did it. It was Avery that was slowing them down. It was, yeah. It was crazy. This is probably the first time I thought Avery legitimately just performed poorly on an episode. Like, in a mission. Because there were times where she would, like, mole behavior-ish a little bit. Like, especially with the dinghy. But she didn't really perform poorly and like she's the one that found the dinghy in the first place but come on this this was probably her worst performance of the season and she'd probably say it too I worst like. performance like it's so and it was so funny because someone i think someone said it on twitter too actually and then we'll get we'll get back onto like you know the mission but someone said it on twitter and i agreed completely was that <clears throat> avery was trying to do what joy was doing 
And I was like, but she was just doing it worse. And I completely 100% agree. Like, Joy was bringing suspicion on her, but she was doing it better. I was getting ag- aggravated with Joy, but Joy was eating it up. Avery was just like, why? Like, why? Why are we doing this? Like, why are we doing this? Like, it was just getting more aggravated with Avery, but Avery and Joy were playing sort of similar games. But I'm kind of glad that Joy made it out in the end because Avery was just being a little sloppy and messy with her game. So we get to the missions, right? Yeah. We have uh, the train group is Casey, Greg, and Cossie. The uh, running foot group is Avery, Pranav, and Will. And then Jacob and Joy are in the car with Joy on navigation for some reason. Um, so do we want to talk about them individually or just... Let's jump with the car because I feel like we, 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 we... Yeah, let's jump with the car first. So the car first happens. Jacob is driving. Joy is on navigation. Why are we putting Joy on navigation? I don't know. But whatever. We moved. And everything that we, everybody was wondering and was suspecting was going to happen happened. Joy got them lost. Again, she twice. Twice. twice just did not read the map, just did not. And I don't understand because I looked at that map. That is the simplest map that they could like somebody drew that map and like drew out the routes and was like, this is where you turn. turn. They might as well had a Siri with that map, like mm-hmm. or, or, you know, like turn right here a, a thousand feet because that map was so simple. It wasn't like a. You need to find the latitudes and longitudes of 90 degrees over here. It was literally follow this road, make a left right up here. Follow this, make a right up here. It, now, I, I will say this. When they drove past the place where they got the packages, because they did that, I think, on the second package they did that, I kind of understood that specifically because the packages were not, their packages were not easy to find. They were in a mailbox grouping, fair enough, but, like, they were kind of hidden a tiny bit. It was a slight right like yeah turn the slight right so you could have missed it but what i don't understand jacob saw it jacob saw it he was like was that a right that was a turn but he kept going and was like that might have been a turn i think that was a turn i'm like if you think it was a turn turn around and go back and see like why are you driving still almost a half a mile up the road when he's like i mm-hmm. saw it it could be it but i don't know so each of the packages that they grabbed, though, were going to be worth $1,000 if yep. they beat the train to the station. Yes. So they get the first package after about half the time is already gone because they get lost. And then they drive past, was it the second or the, the second third one. package? The second they drive one. past the second pass- pa- package. They have about 15 minutes left. So they figure, okay, we'll go back and get the second package, completely ignore the third one, and just head to the train station. And they go back and get it, and they're going to the train station, and we'll talk about the result in a minute. <laughs> but they, but then they, they, wait, maybe it was the third one. Maybe it was the third one, because they said they see it, mm-hmm. and they want to go back to get it. So I think it, it was the third, third one. one. I think it, it was the third one. Okay. So, yeah, it was the third one. So they go back, and they had like seven minutes left when they go back. And it's like, should we just go? Back, should we stay? Should we go? Joy was very insistent on going back. Jacob wanted to just head on to the train station with their one package and call it a day. And Joy was like, "Ah, uh, I think we can do it. Let's go back." So they go back, and then they run to the train. They head to the train station. We'll move on to the <laughs> the runners. Um, the runners, Will, Pranav, and Avery. Like we said before, Will and Pranav could have did this one by themselves. They honestly could have. And they should have done it by themselves. They could have done it that by themselves. Because the most of the time that they were stopping was because Avery was stopping. They mm-hmm. were keeping up a great pace. Will and Pranav had it. They were keeping up a great pace. They could have got everything. They All the packages and still would have made great time if Avery was not there. But they could have literally walked it. Is the, the last I really think no, about they could have walked the... the entire thing because it's seven miles, right? Seven mm-hmm. mile distance in 90 minutes. The mm-hmm. average human can walk about five or six and a half miles in an hour. If they would have just kept up a consistent pace the entire time and just walked straight, they could have probably made it. And maybe they would have had to run a little bit if it was like they're going slower because you know it was hills and stuff sometimes mm-hmm. they would have had to run a little bit but like i do kind of put a little bit of the blame on will and pranav here too 
because they were constantly wanting to run the entire time. And I get how that's tiring. I mean, not all these people are marathoners. True. I mean, I would have did it. I would have very insisted being in the, you know, the car or the train. That was just. I would have been on that train. I would have loved to be on that train. I'm not running anywhere. But um, yeah, but they got all of their packages, though. Mm-hmm. They got all three of their packages. But once they got the last package, it was probably maybe five or six, five yeah. minutes left. I was, I was going to say, like, especially with the. Especially with, like, a marathon, like, you know, like, that's, like, way, like, that's a lot of, like, exercise, because, like, what they had to do, like, five, seven miles, and that's, like, a long, like, that was a long way, especially when you have to match the, like, you have to be there before the train, but the funny thing was that where I was kind of gagged at was, like, how is it that the people who were running got there before the people who were doing the car, like, okay. I think because the car people, like, Jacob and Joy ended up, like, going all the way back nearly to like where they started yeah yeah they literally got lost twice they had to go back and that just ate away their time a lot of their time was trying to figure out where to find these packages that they kept passing or turning around and going back so i can see how that that time just got ate up um but the runners, when they got their last package, like we said, if it was just Will and Pranav, when they, when they got their last package, they were ready to run it. They were ready to run it to the end, and they probably still would have made it back before the train. But Avery, with Avery being there, there was no way it was going to happen because she was die- She was dead. She was like, not. Mm-hmm. she was not going to make it. Completely gassed. And so they had to use, they found bikes on the side of the road, but the bikes said, if you want to use these bikes, you have to lose $2,000. And they decided, and Avery was like, we need these bikes. We need these bikes right now. And they were like, do we? They were like, she was like, yes, yes. <laughs> um, it's, it's, uh, it was kind of like crazy, but they got the bikes, lose $2,000. And they still just make it back in a nick of time. Like, literally, the train is pulling into the station. And as long as they're back before the train stops, they're good. And they made it back just in the nick of time. And the car did not. (laughs) Yes. And on the subject of the train group. Oh, let's talk about the train group now. Please, let's talk about the train group. Because the train group was so disrespectful. First of all, <laughs> how do you drop the bag? Like, respectfully, how do you drop the bag? Like, literally, you just saw Greg grab the bag and effortlessly, and you okay. deliberately dropped the bag. Like, Can we not gloss over the fact that Greg, okay, Greg, who has been performing awful and literally, literally almost all of the freaking missions, has awful. been performing terribly. He Greg literally up. snagged both of the bags that they got off the jam trade hooks. Like, come on. It was kind of iconic. Like come on. Let's, let's talk about this. What was Casey really doing? Because Casey's talking about, oh, I she see was, the bag. I see the bag. Like, we all see the bag. Like, no, girl, she was giving them that indication that there's a bag coming up, so get them sticks ready. Yeah, she was the fr- she was at the front, and she was telling uh, Greg and Cossie that there's another, there's bags coming up. Okay. Ready. Is it, was it just two things? Could they, could she have also had a thing to try to grab the bag first? It's, that's what I'm saying. Like, the Casey was just looking at the bag. Like, we all can see when the bag is coming. Like, you can, we can all peek our, you know what I mean? What was Casey really doing? She could have, like, she could have tried to pick up the bag too. You know what I mean? She could have tried as well. I don't know if there was two or one. Or no, there were only two sticks I, there. I oh. think there were only, and even if there were, three sticks i don't think they should have had her doing that because we saw when they switched it to put kasi in front of greg right greg was able to get both of them first try did not mess up kasi on the second bag though knocks it to the ground greg can't reach the bag on the ground so they really only should have had one person going for it and if they don't think they can get it then have the other person try to get it off the same hook once it hits the ground there's no way they're getting it yeah. That was the that was supposed to be the plan, but my thing is like my thing was, do you think that was a hint from producers itself that when there was only two poles, meaning that there should have only been two people on the train and there should have been three people on the running and like in the car? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I also think they low key planned to have nine people in this episode. 
because they thought the dome, dome was going to be here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, think they thought the dome was Also, look at the heist mission, too. The heist mission had uneven teams. I think they were totally expecting the group to fully support having Dom come back into the yep. game. And yeah. they had to ad lib it and kind of mess like, with it a tiny bit. I think they were going to have a quiz after this mission before they did the bomb mission. I agree. And, I, and think I think the that's, rules had to yeah. happen. And, yep. I, and I think that that's when everything went messed up. Because if you notice, this mission, they it was 90 minutes. They edited a lot of this mission out of the episode, mm-hmm. which kind of hurts. I really like this mission. I think this mission is really cool. But... I understand why, especially because the the bomb mission is super fun. Yeah, like just from a t- TV perspective, the bomb mission's great. But you know, they were planning on having a quiz after this mission to get rid of somebody else to make the bomb mission even across the board. Yeah. Because this mission and the heist mission both had an extra player. I agree, or, or one less player than they needed. Yeah, I agree. I think they had to do some 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 editing and some be a little bit creative because they really thought Dom was going to come back and they were not going to you know everything would be even at this point but it is what it is it didn't happen they they edited and did some conjoling the best way that they could so I appreciate the editing team on the mold because they mm-hmm. had to switch some stuff around um, my bad because everyone walked out the car finally so thank god I'm so sorry about that they, no, you're I'm fine so- but um do y'all think and because I, I missed a little bit part obviously because i was my, i was mm-hmm. arguing but um <laughs> do y'all think that it would have been better if joy drived and then jacob read the map because i'm yes kind of about it and i'm like wouldn't it be it probably would have been a little bit better if joy was driving and then jacob was reading the map because i feel like jacob probably would have been able to read that map a little bit better than what joy was doing because as at this point i feel like joy genuinely can't probably read a map and i think that's why she needs the co-pilot so that like you know she can drive and then they can tell her the directions because i don't think she generally can read a map like that and i think there's different versions of maps when it comes mm-hmm. to airplanes yes and like reading a map on the floor too so i don't know well i will say this i know there's a thing on the amazing race that only certain people are allowed to drive with like international driving laws or insurances like, and some type of thing like that. So I don't know if everyone on the cast in the mold was able to drive the car. Yeah. So if Joy was able to drive the car, yes, she should have driven the car. But if she couldn't have, I understand why she didn't. But if she couldn't drive the car, stick her on the train, put Casey or Cassie or literally anyone else in that car with Jacob. Mm-hmm. Because but I feel you, like... Ugh. I feel like Kazi, if like, cause like, like I said, I feel like there should only been probably. Well, I feel like there should, there could have been three people on the train. That's fine, but even if we were to take Kazi off the train and put her in the car with Joy and um Joy and Jacob, I feel like Kazi would have even messed it up even more because Joy already messed up reading a a a, 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 a freaking map before. So if Kazi was in there, she would have just took advantage of that and would have been like, well, I mean, Joy messed up a map before, and I'm and <clears throat> anyways. <clears throat> you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Why? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, I would feel like, you know, that's a person. Even whoever's the mole and going into that car, that's another perfect opportunity because Joy already messed up a, a, a freaking map before. Yeah, I just feel like it was just, I like you said at the very beginning the way they set up the teams. I think that was the mistake number one. And but it, all out of all of that. The, uh, the running team came back with all of their packages minus the 2000 for using the bikes. The train team came back with two bags. And um, the car team came back with one package. But I was sad about the, the bike car thing. team was late. And, and they did yeah. not make Get it back to the train. Yeah. So the one. car team actually had two of their package and oh, yeah, two packages. Well, be- because they were late and got there after the train. Their money didn't count. Money On the didn't. plus side for the group, though, the car packages were worth the least amount of money. Yes. So at least they only lost two grand there. Two grand. So grand right. total, the foot team collected nine thousand dollars, spent two k of that on the bike. So they bought in seven thousand dollars for the team for the pot, and then the train team brought back uh, two bags. Those were each worth two thousand apiece. So they brought in four thousand. So grand total, eleven thousand dollars was added to the pot. Uh, that brought their total to fourteen hundred five fourteen thousand five hundred dollars. At yeah, this good point. job for them. Digits. Good job for them for finally getting back to close to. Yeah. Finally, anyway. getting another number on that. Right. 
Um, so they have their, like you said, $14,500. That's what they're ended up with. Um, yeah, the car team was 18 seconds behind, by the way, of the train getting there. So it That's wasn't good. it wasn't that bad, but it was bad enough to not get their money counted. Um, so we move, and they're told that they're going to go have lunch now, and they're ready for lunch. <laughs> I love they're, this I, mission, I love this so, mission much. so bad. So they're see? ready for lunch and they're going to, and they like walk into this room and they see the table. And then in the middle of the table is a bomb with $15,000 sitting on top of it. So they're like, huh, thought we were just having lunch. Okay. Well, okay. All right, so Alex tells them to go have a seat and they all go sit down. And then as soon as they sit down, Alex says, one, two of you just sat on a detonator. This $15,000 could be yours, but we're going to vote people off the table by giving, <laughs> this was the funniest thing to me. I've never seen anything like this because like I said, I didn't watch the mold before. So I've never seen anything like this. And I thought this was the like most genius way to try to get people, fake people out, I guess. But they were bringing them lunch and the people who had the, who were sitting on a detonator got whatever it was, was a regular lunch. It was just what they said it was. And then the people without it were served the same meal, but it looked, well, it looked the same, but it was filled with other things. Like the first uh, was peas and something and peas and it was an Australian dish but some people got the regular one and then the other one got one with um, spicy wasabi. wasabi in it mm -hmm. and so you had to if you <laughs> if you had the one wasabi you could either fake your way out of it people I don't know how people could do that I, they did it but I don't know how people do it because if I ate something with some one wasabi person. in it yeah, one person did it very I, well. Right, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll talk to about it. that. But if I was the one eating something with some wasabi in it or these chilies that they was, yeah, I would have gave it away right away because I can't handle spicy, spicy like that. I'd be like, oh, oh no. <laughs> one thing we should mention though, the people that are sitting on the detonators, they're getting these regular normal That's dishes, like. yep, right? Regular. And these people don't have to pretend because nope. you know they. Food's so fine. The other six people though are getting these really crazy, normally spicy food mm -hmm. to try to get this reaction out of them. And every after they eat every dish, they vote two people off from the table. Um, and the last two people, one of them is because the thing is, both of the detonators have to go off in order for the money to be lost, right? Mm -hmm. So at the very end, the last two people. One of them is going to get to dis make a decision because they allude that there's an exemption on the line here. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of them is going to make a decision uh, whether or not to take an exemption or defuse the bomb and get the money. Yep. And it, it becomes very entertaining very quickly. Yeah, but it, so, uh, so, like I said, the first one is this pea dish, with, and some had the regular pea dish, and some had wasabi in their dish. So they start eating it. Everybody's like, mm, oh. Hmm. Almost everyone. Almost. And then... <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> was he first? No, he wasn't first. Was no, he, he not first? So it was, it was Pranav, because they noticed his eyes started watering. His eyes started watering. And then Casey <laughs> tried to point him out, but then she started coughing. <laughs> I was like, oh, that <laughs> sounds very spicy to me. <laughs> and so they vote. The first vote is Casey... And Pranav. and Pranav, and they both get up from their seats. No lights come on because if you get up and you're on the detonator, a light will come on. And so they both get up. They both have no lights. Let them know that they are not sitting on the detonator. Money's still safe. They leave. The next dish comes out, and they fill one with chilies, and then the other one was a regular dish. I can't remember what the no actually. Was. So the next was just ice cold. Oh, was drink. It was, so a drink. It was a drink. It, oh, yeah. Somebody had, it was beer or apple cider or beer vinegar, like an apple yeah. cider vinegar. It was either beer or carbonated apple cider apple vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. So 
yeah, another one I would have been gagging if I drank some carbonated apple cider vinegar. But so Greg drinks his and he's like, <clears throat> and so they're like, yeah. And Avery was like, I don't, I don't guzzle anything. I sip, I don't. And they're like, mm. <laughs> she's like taking these baby sips of like, and they're like, mm, girl, uh-uh. Because if it's a beer, you just go drink it and chug it. Although me, I don't like beer. So I would have been like very grossed out by drinking a bunch of beer. But I would have did it just to try to keep it. But they vote out Greg and Avery. Both get up. The light does not come on. No detonator under their seats. And so what was the last dish, Anissa? Uh, it is a pavlova. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, it is, it, it's dessert. It's dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. the one with the chilies in it. Yes. Okay. I was right about chilies at some point. Yeah, it was chilies in it. And so they start to eat it. Everybody's like, mm -hmm. and then Kazi, her eyes start to water and people notice like, which is funny because Jacob was like, Kazi's eyes are watering. And she's like, what? No, no, not mine. No, but even like, Jacob's and like, then, oh, I bit my tongue. Right, and then Jacob was like, oh. And they're like, mm, oh, you bit your tongue. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they vote out Kazi and they vote out Jacob. Kazi gets up, light comes on. And they're like, oh, no. So they only have one left. And if that one blows up, Money's gone. So Jacob gets up. No light comes on. Jacob's out. Kazi's out. So it comes down to Will and Joy, which I found this to be hilarious that it came down to Will and Joy because Will and Joy have been going back and forth saying each other's name this entire time. I think it's Will. I think it's Joy. I think it's Will. I think it's Joy. And so for it to come down to them as the final two, I found it quite hilarious myself. We've also been getting that edit since the first episode, too, about both of them having this, like, weird animus with each other. Because they weren't even part of the same group, but, you know. Yeah. So It was, it was always a thing with them. Mm -hmm. So they look at each other. Joy stands up because she's not on a detonator. She's like, homie, you got to stay seated. You, If you stand up, we lose the money. So, right. Joy walks over to this little thing. It's got a note card on it. There's a little set of pliers. And it says, basically, you can take this plier, cut this wire on the bomb, diffuse the bomb, and you guys get $15,000 for the pot. Or, if you don't want to do that, here's this nice shiny exemption card that you can have, and you don't have to participate in the next test, next quiz. And they're going back and forth about it. Joy, okay, this is also one of the times where you could tell Joy knows how to make good TV. Okay, yeah. she was just like, I want to win, win. I want to win. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I want to win, Will. I was like, Mother, Mother, <laughs> she mother. Are you giving us entertainment? No, right no, now? Not, I mean, okay, so, no, no, sorry. What it, what did it for me is when she opens the second clash and, and she starts reading it. <laughs> and she, she begins reading it out and then she stops in the middle of it. She was like, and You can't. <laughs> and Will is like, Don't stop reading it now. Don't she's stop. Like, don't stop. <laughs> she's like, You don't have to read this if you don't want to. <laughs> I was like, she is giving joy. Joy knows what she's doing. Joy, joy is giving me joy. Okay, joy is giving me joy. joy. <laughs> very much, truly, like she is definitely like I am uh, here to entertain the masses as well as play this game. I am here to cause drama. I want people to like. She, Okay, I know some of y'all already know what who the mole is. I'm acting like I don't know because I really want to just continue watching the season without acting like I know. But if she is the mole, she is making people want to believe she's the mole. And if she is, it's like she might seem too obvious to be the mole. Mm -hmm. If she is not the mole, she is definitely making people waste all of their votes on thinking she is the mole because... 
she is doing very mole like activity but in the best possible way like i am so entertained by joy joy is giving me so much life and joy in this season i from the i don't care that she know how to read a map she don't ever have to read a map for me don't ever read a map for me joy she'll read but, people to fuck later anyway it's right fine. <laughs> since i i loved it so so much she's just and she was just like do we I, I, I want to win, Will. And that's where we were left off. That's the cliffhanger. And not only was that an episode cliffhanger, that was the episode batch cliffhanger. <laughs> so you had to wait a week for that mess to figure out what she did. I was angry. Oh, she was just like, I want to win, Will. I'm greedy. I, it, it was everything. It was everything. Mm -hmm. And so they left us there for episode five. And we and go then, in. We go into episode six. We move. <laughs> we do move. We literally we move into episode six, and they come back to Will and Joy going back and forth, and she wants to win. Will she wants to win? But she says, "I want to win, and I am greedy, but we need money in this pot." Joy knew better. She could not do that again. She, she would have lost the group singularly by herself forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. Like so she literally could not do that. So she grabbed the pliers. She runs over. She snips that rare cord, and they get fifteen thousand dollars added to their pot. No exemption taken. No exemption needed. That brings their grand total to what AJ. Uh, that would be a grand total of $29,500, the highest total they've had, even before Joy decided to yeet $25,000 out of the, out of the prize yep. pot. Yep. Um, and, you know, th this is when the group, I feel like, started getting the groove back a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we'll see that a lot more in episode six, but $29,000, I think that when they finally were like, okay, we're back to where we were, let's get kick it into high gear, we want to make more money. And I think they're trying at least a little bit to put their suspicions aside and just collectively work on the money and work on the fund. And that's when it starts happening is in episode six. But before that mission, what's next, <laughs> Lana? <laughs> before we get to that mission at hand, we have a, um, an elimination. We have a, a quiz. quiz. We have a quiz. We have a quiz. I did not forget the quiz this time. We have a quiz. And uh, everybody's nervous because now Joy is like, I didn't take the exemption. I should have taken the exemption because now I got to take this quiz and I'm scared. But she knew she couldn't take that exemption. Like you said, she would have lost $40,000 for her team if she would have taken that exemption. So she did what she had to do. And she's like, I just got to take this quiz and do what I got to do. Everybody's nervous. Everybody's anxious. Everybody's concerned about how they did on this quiz because people have their ideas on where they think this is going to go. They take the quiz. I was going to ask, do you guys think that if that like if it was you guys, would you guys take the exemption? Because like to be honest with me, I was looking at Joel, I was like, I mean, I would have, I want you to get the money. I wanted her to get the money for the group. But on the other hand, I would have been like, you could throw them off again, like, because they're going to think you're the most. So I'd have been like, I'll take the exemption. I would have ate them up. Like, so yep. in, in the first episode, I told Lana and Anissa, point blank, the amount of money in that pot does not matter if I don't win. Okay? If I get third place, I'm not winning any more money than I would have got if I got 11th, you know? Maybe, like, the episode fee, whatever, cool. But, like, if I get to the end and I lose, it doesn't matter how much money's in that pot. So if I'm going to win, right, then I'm going to take every exemption, every opportunity I have to keep myself safe from the quiz so I can get closer to the end of the game. I I understand why Joy, particularly in this situation, didn't, but I would have taken that exemption. I'm no shame taking that exemption. All right. No I, but I would have taken that she needed to, to, like, save face from what she did last time with the exemption, of course, but I'm just like... 
I would have took it again. Like, I would have just been like, no, I'm going to take it. And I would have did it in front of Will. I would have been like, yeah, I'm taking this. Like, and I hope you enjoyed your meal today. Thank you. And I would have walked out the door. Bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have. I, I would have taken it this time. This time I would have taken it. The first time I said I wouldn't have risked twenty five thousand dollars of it. Like I wouldn't have said twenty five thousand for the pot. Like I would have said a, a number like fifteen thousand maybe or less 10, than that. Ten thousand. Well, I would have probably said ten thousand. I would have done a dollar <laughs> because at that. I point, mean, because I know somebody's <laughs> going to go for it. I just wouldn't think they would have taken twenty five. I would have thought maybe ten thousand would have been sufficient. Twenty five thousand was a lot. Like she like, and so that's why I was kind of confused because I was like, oh, is it twenty five thousand if you get it right added back, not take when when it was taken away? I was like, oh, so she. I was no. like, why, Joy? I was like, why did you? Right, right. Twenty five thousand seemed to be extreme for me. Like I wouldn't have done that much, and I probably wouldn't have won, but I would have risked. 10,000 of it because I'm like 10,000 is a good fair enough money that I know we can make back quickly if we lose it. 25,000 is a, like almost two missions if we cuz like as the record has seen at the, thus far they hadn't made $20,000 in a mission yet at that point. So it was like 10,000 I know they probably we probably could make back. I probably would have did 10,000. But this time around if I was joy I would have taken it. We have lost several people along the way already. We're getting closer and closer to the end. I need to make sure I'm setting myself up to get further and further in this game. So every exemption, every safety is something I would look at. I wouldn't have did, like I said, I wouldn't have did 25000 the first time, but I definitely would have snipped that. I would have been like, oh, I'm sorry, Will. I'm taking this exemption. Enjoy the bomb. Boom. And I would have walked right on out the door and I wouldn't have cared nothing about it. Everybody would be looking at me, why did you lose that money? Before we talk about the quiz, though, I do want to point out, after <laughs> Alex, after Joy snips the bomb, I love Alex is like, do y'all want to see what would have happened if she no, would have Alex, the Alex, No, Alex, wait, this is what cracked me up, and this is why I like Alex. Alex, Alex was, she was so real. She was like, oh, I hate we didn't get to see the bomb go off. How about we just let the bomb go off? <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> like, and Will was like, what? Like, it was going to harm him, but he's like, wait, what? She's like, mm -hmm. set the bomb off. It was basically Ooh. just a couple firecrackers, it really but it was, was kind of cool. It was still fun. Yeah. yeah. It was still fun. But yeah, Alex was like, just for the heck of it, let's just see it happen. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that was fun. But we get some quiz. Quiz happens. Everybody's nervous, trying to figure out what's going to happen. This one, I will have to, this one, I do say I was very sad and I shocked, shocked that this elimination happened and this was the person eliminated, but... I'm going to put it up there. Pranav was, was eliminated. I was so sad. I was um, so sad. No, So, one, Pranav was so smart. We saw it the entire season. And we thought that him and Avery were bouncing off each other really well. And for, I'm, I'll be real. I thought Pranav was going to make it deep. I thought he was going to make it at least until, like, the final five, final four. Mm -hmm. Because he was. they were really the only people bouncing stuff off of each other. And we had been kind of been hinted at that at first he was kind of just using Avery, but then I feel like it kind of flipped and Avery was just mm -hmm. using him. And when it got down to it, I guess he just didn't have the right information. He went with the wrong gut feeling. I um, feel like he got influence of the what I think was that that that's when Joyce napped and was like trying to put the blame on Jacob, right? I think that's oh, no, not, not that, yet. That, that not yet. Yet. Not yet. Oh. No, 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 don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. I ain't watching. Oh. <laughs> oh, not, not, not the frozen face. Wait, not the frozen face. So, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But yeah, go ahead. So oh. I was like, I do. I love Pernoy. Like I was like, I was really sad. Kind of of like when he ended up like getting eliminated like AJ was saying like I really expected him to be kind of further down the game and it was kind of like it, that one is what hurt like when he like got eliminated I was just like wow like anybody else in the room could have got eliminated but you like I was just like I was just hurt I was hurt yeah, yeah. I, I mean I, I remember him I remember during the the mission uh in where they had to beat the train that it was like oh I'm starting to pick up on what Avery's trying to do. Mm-hmm. He so said I felt like it was a bit of like foreshadow 
foreshadowing that like oh maybe a bunch of his answers were on Avery. Mm-hmm. So uh, I remember last week I brought up that space with Dom Avery and Pranav in it. Pranav said in that space that he had been splitting his answers between Kasi, Will, Joy, and Jacob. But on that particular quiz, he split his answers between Jacob, Joy, and Avery. Did not do a single answer targeted towards Kasi. And -hmm. that's when he went home. Uh, Well... That was sad. That was uh, I didn't I wasn't expecting Pranav to go home at that point, but nope. that is what happened. Pranav went home and, there, and Avery was very shocked. She was crying and she was like, I think this is my fault because I didn't share information with him. Like I feel like I should have. So I feel like this is my fault. Everybody felt bad. Everybody was hugging Avery, blah, blah, blah. We move. Because, yeah, we move. Um, Mission time. Let's go to the mission. (laughs) This is the best mission outside of the red button mission. This is probably the second best mission of the season. I really enjoyed this mission. So they're going to the mountain. They're going to the blue mountains. They're gorgeous, by the way. They are gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. We don't talk about it enough. Australia is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Okay. Let, let, let's give them their tens and their uh, yeah, because Australia, beautiful country. We've seen some very gorgeous locations, and just even just them driving, you can mm-hmm. see the how beautiful the landscaping is in, and the landscape is in Australia. Beautiful country. Beautiful. Shout out to Derek. Hey, uh, hey, Derek. <laughs> hey, Derek. Um, hey, Derek. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> um. It's uh yeah, it's beautiful. It, it, that is why it's on my bucket list. Like I have got to get to Australia before I leave this. Earth. I just realized this ball. I think this is the first time we get to see Alex in the car with everyone. Yes. Yeah, this, this, this is, is what I was time. talking about last time. She has that like five second conversation with one of the other players. It's yeah. very fun. I do like that. That you know, I'm like she's. They don't just ship her off where you know by herself and to get up to these mountains. It's like. Put her in the car with everybody else. We all go into the same place. Let's just do this. And so she's in the car and she's asking if people are scared of heights. And she's like, Are you, you know? And she's like, What I will say about this challenge is gonna be fun. And yeah, you're gonna have just hold on tight. It's gonna be good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed those when the host is very engaged with the contestants. It was fun to see. So they get to the mountains and they find out that they're going to. Not everybody's going to make it to the end of this challenge. Not everybody's going to complete the mission. And it starts right then, right there at the bottom or the base of the mountain, I say. And two people are going to have to sit out of the challenge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we jump ahead. They get there. They get to the place. They have to get their backpacks that are pre-assigned there in the back. Everybody has to get their backpack out and take it with them. They get the backpack out head over to the base. Then they find out that the mole has predetermined whose backpack is whose and what goes in it. $10,000 has been put into three of the backpacks and the mole decided who got the money in their backpacks. And so once they figured, found that out, it was like, now two of y'all got to sit out. Who's going to do it? So they had to decide who had the money, who didn't have the money, who's going to sit out. Was anyone even remotely surprised that Greg like immediately said, "No, I don't <laughs> want to do it"? I mean, <laughs> oh, not at all. Have we ever heard anything? But from Greg is like, it, lazy, I, and it's totally fine. <laughs> Right, I was gonna say I wasn't surprised that Greg didn't want to do it, but to be honest, did we like? Let's be real. Did we all think that Greg had the money in his bag? Because no, like, no, I would have put it in his bag. I would have put it in his bag. If I was the mole, if I was the mole, I would have put it in his bag because I'm like, yeah, he ain't gonna do it. it bag, this man, okay, literally, name a single time this season, right? That you, of these first six episodes, that Greg has done anything <laughs> even remotely physical outside reaching a pole on the outside of a train. No, in the pool, in the water, in the water, because he did try to help Casey out. He did try to help Casey out and jump in the water. And Let me rephrase. Anytime he did something physical well. Yeah, not well. Because 
Mr. Jump in the water and then drop the tank into the bottom of the ocean. That with ain't helping us. Best you ain't helping us with a best diaper. You ain't helping out nobody. But whatever, Greg. We <laughs> move from you, sir. But it, it, it yeah, I would have if I was the mole. Greg definitely would have had ten thousand dollars in his. Mm-hmm. Book. I would have known that man is not going to do anything. In this <laughs> There's no way he's gonna finish it. I would have put That's- it in Greg's bag. Both. I, if I was the mole, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my own bag, and then I'm going to say, y'all shouldn't take me because I probably wouldn't do it. Like, duh, yeah, put it in my bag, put it in Greg's bag, and then put it in somebody else's bag who you didn't think would finish. And even if they come out with ten thousand dollars, cool, but it's it okay. So they so, put it. So Cassie and Greg decide that they are not going to go. Or the, the team votes that Cassie and Greg shouldn't go and finish this mission. So they go in. So they get into this cute little shack that has this two-way radio. It's kind of adorable. I'm not even going to lie. Um, mm-hmm. And the group, the, the other five, so that's Will, Jacob, Joy, Avery, and Casey. They're on their way to this mountain. And they have to go down this mountain up on another part of the mountain and then across this like zip line looking thing. Right. So before they go down, they get to another sign that's like, one of you has to drop out now, like immediately. And the entire group's like, yeah, Will, bye. Yeah, Will, bye. Yeah, and no Will is going on about this whole like reverse psychology thing <laughs> about like, oh, the mole thinks that y'all would leave me here. So they put money in my bag. And I'm like, okay. I could kind of see the argument, but also, why would they even remotely take that risk? That's yeah, my no. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. No, I wouldn't have never even... But Will's like, oh, I I don't care. I just want to finish the challenge. This is the peak of whiny Will, by the way. Like, this yeah, man Will, is like, whining like, like a I, child. Right, like, I like Will's admiration. Like, I love his um, admiration where he, like, tries to push, like, to be able to, like, try to stay on the road and, like, want to, like, want to make it to the end because, like, I genuinely knew that Will was trying to get to the end so he could suspect everyone else because, obviously, everyone is, like, playing a weird game. But what bothered me was that Casey kept trying to, like, oh, like, okay, I won't go anymore. I won't go. It's okay. Like, y'all can go. Y'all can go. It's like, Casey, like, girl, you could have said that back in the first round. Like, what is really going on? Like, I feel like Casey, like, her doing that, like, it's just going to make you look more obvious because it's just like, by you trying to back out of, like, being not being the like not going forward and being the one that stays back it's just like you should have just been the first to volunteer if that's how you felt like you should have just been the first to volunteer so Mm -hmm. the group ends up leaving will behind he's pissed right because we all just cost yourself ten thousand dollars and all this other mess and we touched on it in the first podcast frequently i'm gonna bring it up now because we haven't had a reason to talk about him yet this man gets on my nerves he is arrogant he is cocky and it irritates me when he literally never puts anybody in the pot he literally put five thousand dollars in the pot and he still thinks he is the god's gift to this group and it pisses me off he is i agree a hundred percent with you aj this man, this man thinks he is God's gift to everything in the mold. You literally put $5,000 into the pot and you did it one secret mission. That is not going, that should not carry you through the entire game because you did one secret mission. Like, bruh, calm now, down. Granted, did he do well in the train mission when he's on that run. Sure. Yes. Yes. Great. But that is not just him putting that money in the pot. That is Pranav and Avery putting that money in the pot as well. And uh, let's really not telling... add Avery. Let's okay. not add Avery. She did one. the thing. She did like, it. She did, it. Well she, did it. she did it. She did, she the did it. But let's talk about you in the water going all rogue and crazy, busting your hand and arms open so you couldn't even participate and finish it. So Dude. if we really go talk about <laughs> anything, bro, you are not that great of everything where you can turn around and act like I'm Mr. I'm just like y'all. Why would he think? 
the mole will put ten thousand dollars in his backpack when they know it's probably he's going to finish this challenge the whole point that's is true, to somebody true. who's not going to finish the challenge I and mean, that whole point, reverse psychology thing it was okay it was an argument was it a good argument no because ain't no mole gonna be like you know what I think they probably think I won't put it in Will's bag, but I will because I know he's gonna go. They go. Ain't nobody thinking like that. See, I probably would have been smart too, but you're right. No one's thinking like that because, like, for me, like, I can, like, I, like, for me, I can get. I see where cocky is because we see him on Twitter and how he acts on Twitter and too much. Like, he does too much on Twitter for me. Like, I personally am not for that, but you know, all to him. He's funny though. Don't get me wrong. That's the other side of it. Like, I feel like he's kind of funny. He makes me laugh. Like, and then like the way he talks about like the mole and the way he talks about the other cats, it just kind of cracks me up because I'm just like, damn, like he's eating them up. But like, I do see where he's cocky. Like sometimes he does too much. Like you have to allow the group to kind of like, just like, be the group and you have to allow the missions to be the missions like you're not the t like obviously you feel like you're the best player okay cool but it's not the mole isn't a type of game where it's like who's the best player it's like who's the most strategic who's like it's not it's a lot of components when it comes to the mole so i don't like i agree with y'all on that part though will is very cocky he's not that humble like he's not that humble i just want to point out though he wasn't even the best player though even up to this point Casey had put more money in the pot than he had. Yep. Like, I was just going to say. She had put more money in the pot than he had. She did $2,500 from the water mission. She single-handedly caused them to add 6 k extra to the prison mission. Not to mention the fact that she was part of the train people. They put in 4 k uh, Like, she did. She was doing really well in the missions, too. And she was also the only person that got them any money in the treasure mission. Mm -hmm. So, like... Casey was the one putting money in the pot, not him. Yeah. Wait, he put 5k in that pot from the first um, episode secret mission in the first episode. <laughs> cool. Happy for you. Congratulations. You stumbled upon a sticky note and you did the thing. Great. But <laughs> this man oh, he gets on my fucking nerves. And I'm so happy that this is like the one time so far that the group collectively said no to his bullshit and made him stay behind. And if he would have been in the confessional and been like, look, I'm aware that I probably don't have money in my backpack. I just want to watch people and I want to see what they do. 100% would have respected that. I would have respected that. Yes. That would have been exactly. game. I that. That's why I can't for it. say that. Yeah, the he fact that he that, didn't though. say that, the fact that he was like, I just I, I want to win. I, I, like, he never said that he didn't think the money was in his bag. He was just like, I think the money could have been in my bag. I'm like, why would... No, but the thing is, even after that, he was like... And this is what really got me, too, about Will. Because I thought I was going to like Will, but then I was like, oh, after this... Eh, he's <laughs> meh. Uh, like, literally, he was like, after they voted him out, he was like, hmm. It, it wasn't about whether I had 10,000 or not. I just wanted to finish the mission and make sure everyone was safe. Like... No. He did say something like that. I remember that. And I like for me, he could he didn't have to say that. He could have talked no. to shit like everyone was walking up and just been like, fuck y'all. But so 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 he didn't have to say that. that. And that's where the problem with Will comes in and why I keep saying like he has the mentality where he thinks he's the best player. Like he literally thinks he's the best one in the room. And when you're kind of cocky like that and you allow those things to show out and kind of suppress, like they're not they're gonna make it even worse for you not to like keep going. They're gonna keep stopping you. They're gonna keep like oh every opportunity they get, like they're gonna and stop me from trying to move forward or anything like that but i do think it was a good decision to leave will behind because like lana was saying like it's smart for the mole not to put him in it because if they let him and if the group wasn't thinking how they were thinking they would continue letting will keep going up if because like will thinks he can talk like and smooth a smooth talk everyone so i do think and i agree with lana that it was a smart decision not to put the money in his bag, but it was also a smart decision not to let him to keep go going forward as well. Yeah. Absolutely. I think the one big mistake that the group made to begin with was taking Greg and Kossi out of the challenge to begin with, though. Because, uh, spoiler alert, they go down, climb back up, and before they do the zip line, they have to get rid of one more person. Mm -hmm. And after some back and forth between Jacob and Avery, which I agree, legitimate, yes. actual decision there between the yes. two of them, yes. they decide to leave Avery. And also, Casey decides that she 
doesn't want to do it for about five minutes, but whatever. Um, they should not have even brought Will out of the f- beginning part. Will should have stayed in the shed with yep. Avery at the beginning because Avery's a rock climber. It's been established multiple times throughout the yep. season at this point. And Will is the supposed biggest physical presence on the yep. cast. Yep. And if it's a physical mission, purely a physical challenge, those are going to be the two people that the mole is not going to want to have anything to do with it. Exactly. So you know there's not going to be money in their bags, and they both probably knew it too. And I think Avery honestly got the best deal out of everybody in this entire cast because she didn't go to the end, so nobody was suspicious of her. She got to watch everybody literally the entire mission because once she was done with her part, they just walked her to the other side of the ravine to sit with the rest of the group at the end so they could see whose money was whose. And then she didn't get any suspicion cast upon her because she didn't go to the end with no money in her bag. Mm -hmm. She came out really well. Avery did what Will wanted to do. Avery did exactly Mm -hmm. what Will wanted to do. Will Will knew what no money in his bag, but he just wanted to watch. He wanted to watch. But it's like, I'm sorry, sir. You are a big hunking man with all these muscles, everybody know the money ain't in your bag. Avery could get away with that because, yes, she's athletic, but they don't know how her athleticism was going to play out in the end of that. Like, sometimes you can be athletic and still can't get across the zip line because your body just don't move in that, you know, that way every day. So it could be harder for her. So, yeah, she could have easily did it and, and that's great but she her his, his setup and her setup are two different setups and so nobody's going to, everybody's gonna look at the big tall six three man with all these muscles and say nah and then we'll look at this little dainty you know maybe 120 pounds so you know maybe and, and you know and say yeah she can go on until she can't she it, it was just a better position, and Avery just did what Will wanted to do, but she just did it better because she was just set up better. To be honest, I and that's where I agree with you guys, um, you guys with um, AJ and Lana, because um, I feel like it should have been kind of obvious. Like I like I would have changed the person who I would have put in the shed to. I would have been like Will and Avery because we all like AJ said, Will Will is very like well trained. Like I, it would have been probably a toss up between Avery and Joy because you know Joy is athletic as well too. But even then, I would probably still choose Avery. But all of those two like literally. In the episode one, Avery says she wall climbs and she actually helped the group win they stuff. Then you have Will, who literally wants to do every challenge and win every challenge that they, every mission that they give out. Those two would have been in there for me because obviously Greg is always going to try to cop out. Kenzie, these last couple episodes, been trying to cop out and not trying to do all the work work, but trying to like control over the room. And I don't know if the players were seeing that or not, but I definitely would have done that as well. So. Yeah. They start going across this line, and it's not like a zip line where you just zip across. You have to pull yourself across. I think they had about 15 minutes left by the time yep. three of them started. So mm-hmm. Joy goes first, and in my opinion, she did a pretty okay job. It she wasn't okay. anything she crazy. She yeah. took about four minutes to get yeah. across this ravine. It's a pretty big ravine. All right, and it, they, they literally, I think, they, they break it down. They all li- at least had seven minutes at yeah. least to get across. Yeah, it was- Something like something like that, exactly. Seven minutes apiece in order to make it in time. So Joy gets across the ravine, no issue. Jacob gets on this line. I got to admit, homie was impressive. He just goes hand over hand, yeeting yeah. himself across this line. I think he also look decent, decent, like, decent shape. I'm sure he has like he's a firefighter. He's a firefighter. He's a firefighter. He's a firefighter. That is, what he does. That is yeah. what, like he took possibly 15 seconds to get across that thing. Possibly it was so quick. Seconds. It was very quick. And, and then Casey. Casey. Oh my God. Girl. Girl. <laughs> okay. So Casey <laughs> hooks up into this thing. And before she does that, she's talking to the guy, the, like the safety dude on the other side of the line. And she's like, So I do, do I just, what do I do? And she my save? Like two minutes, even like, though she's the last person. And time watching. out. Time out before we go on. Time out. She's asking this man, the safety man, all these questions. Like they didn't just stop the clock. So they can have the safety instruction oh, right. right before that. Like, seriously, they just told you everything you need to know. They just told you all of that. And then you get on there when the time starts, and you're like, okay, so do I do it just like this? Is this tight? Is I'm, Am I secure? Is it rope? 
Oh, it's windy out here today. Oh, is it usually this windy? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's beautiful. I, like, girl, you are With not a whole bunch of like awkward laughing in between <laughs> each question. <laughs> I'm like, this is not a Sunday walk on the and around the park, baby. You are on our time schedule. Move it or lose it. Like, girl, like if anything was mole-like behavior, that would have been like. You are the mole, you are the mole, you are the mole, you are the mole. Like neon signs say she is the mole. Because you wasted two minutes talking about how windy it is. And if I'm safe, it... girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is when I really started getting that vibe from her, too. Was the whole situation, she was just amped up doing all this craziness. And I feel kind of bad about it after what happens mm -hmm. later on. No yeah. spoilers. Talk yeah, about that next week. Cool. Yeah. But, um, she it, but it was kind of this is gonna sound really bad it was kind of giving me a freaking debbie survivor edit mm -hmm. like of the yep. she's being a little kooky a little bit crazy a little bit out there and maybe you could it was molish absolutely but the worst part about it was they were kind of portraying casey as a bit wacky and mm -hmm. i don't know how she feels about that but um <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would want to be the kooky, wacky person uh, on the cast. I don't want to be that, but it is what it is. She So finally, though, she finally gets across, and she goes across. She slowly but surely gets across. Time is ticking. Time is ticking, and it's like five seconds, four seconds by the time she gets to the last oof, push of it. But she makes it up in time, and so everybody's like very excited that she made it up. And so they start doing the reveal on who has the money in the thing in their backpack. So go ahead. Before we talk about that, I just want to say one thing that I really like. This is so dumb, but just from an aesthetic purpose, I really liked it. I liked how the thing that the money was supposed to be in with those little like bank teller tubes, like the little pneumatic tube thing. I don't know why, but I just love those things. I had since I was little. It just made me very happy for no reason. But oh, um, all yeah. of them had one of those tubes in their bag. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking beforehand, I was like, oh, well, they would not be, wouldn't they just be able to tell based on weight if they have $10,000 right. in their backpack or not? But no, that made more sense to me. If it's like in the tube, it's probably not, not exactly $10,000. It's just like a physical thing. Something to say $10,000. Yeah. yeah. But like, also before we go open up the bags, what made me laugh was jo uh, Casey's confessional. And she was like, I know people want to think I'm weak, but I'm probably like the strongest player here. I was like, for real though? Okay. Confidence, I guess. If you if you think so, but whatever. the whole thing is, especially when they did the reveal too, when they did the reveal who had the money in their bag and I, it was just the fact that Casey was trying to bag out so many times and you ended up having the money in your bag. It's like, sis, like, what's really going on here? Like, you just did all that for no reason. Like, you trying to back out and back out, back out. Now you just brought suspicion. And mm -hmm. obviously, I don't, like, I don't think the quiz happened and they showed what happened this episode. So I'm not going to say that. But I will say, you know, no spoilers ahead. It made sense, like, why the quiz went down the way it did, just because of that mission in itself. But it was, it was crazy. So Casey does have. Ten thousand dollars in her bag. Jacob opens his bag. He does not have ten thousand dollars in his bag. Joy opens her bag. She does have ten thousand dollars in her bag. So they end up with twenty thousand dollars for this mission. Which AJ, what does that take their whopping total to? Brings them to just under fifty k, forty nine thousand four five hundred dollars. Excuse me. Uh, at this point, they could have earned a possible one hundred and forty-three thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars. Excuse me, excuse me, one hundred and sixty-three thousand mm. dollars. Um, and then after they opened the three bags of the people that did make it, they open everybody else's bag. So first, they open up Will's bag. He doesn't have the money. I cackled. No shock. <laughs> no shock. Okay, I was thrilled. Uh, then they open up Avery's bag. She doesn't have the money either. So then they open up Greg and Cossie's bags. Cossie had the other ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars, which makes sense. Everybody was a little suspect, though. <laughs> Again. 
What, what else? Look, no spoilers, just big sense. Just the, none of the spoilers. I said the group was sus. sus the group, that, the group yeah. insisted that that happened though. So. Like, see, Kazi been sus for me. Like, I've been sus Kazi out. Like, so that's my thing. So it's like it was always hard to it's hard, it's hard to sit here and be like, oh, like because we all know why it's hard. But like it's hard to not be like, oh, she did this, she did that, and it's like, oh, this is giving me suspicious because you know, but like. He was just so sus, like every other, I think ever since the saloon, when it comes to the bank heist, that's when she started becoming more and more and more sus, and like, she started not caring no more. But, yeah, it's, uh, it was, it was kind of weird, but, so Kasi, like I said, has the other money, and so they go back, and (laughs) this gets interesting as well. So the next part of this mission is they walk into this room and they're going to be chained together. They're going to be chained together. And um, Alex comes on the intercom and is like explaining that they could possibly be chained together all night or they can also all go into live to this hotel in the lap of luxury and, and live it up, you know? And, and even uh, get like... Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. I think it was. Oh yeah, it was ten thousand dollars that could be added to their bank. Easy as ten thousand dollars. But Easy. what they had to do was ten minutes. A door will open. Every ten minutes, a door will open, and inside of this door is a key. You take the key out, unlock yourself, put the key back. It will close. Also in there, with next to the key, is an exemption card. As long as nobody takes this exemption card, you will continue to untake the key, put it back. The next person to do it, take the key, to it back. And everybody who gets unchained will go to the hotel for the night. And everybody who does it, if somebody takes the exemption card, the uh, game is immediately over. Those people who are on the chains will have to sleep in this dark, cold, stink room mm-hmm. on the floor. And the people who with no chains can go to the hotel. <clears throat> but so, the people have to vote to who's going to be the person to get this key first or who's going to get the key. The thing that was really interesting to me about this, though, was... They are in a straight line. They all have plain view of this cage, too. And they're all trying to be the person that goes first because, let's be real, every single person in that line was taking that exemption. All seven of them. And they all knew it. I don't except think they for all possibly knew it. Will, except for possibly Will because he wants to act like this almighty omnipotent. I think and Will would not have taken it. Let's go Sam b and <laughs> Yes, Sam, <laughs> Will would not have taken it because he wants to look like the savior. Because he and put all this money into the pot, damn it. <laughs> it's him and only him. Yeah, yeah, I'm the reason we have $49,500 in this pot right now. Not Joy <laughs> literally directly putting 15k of it. Right. Plus we an additional 10,000 from the mountain mission. But it's she okay. literally replaced her money. That woman mothered. She mothered. <laughs> she spent that 25k <laughs> and put it back in there and the 10 from the mountain mission. She, <laughs> she said the 25 I took back, I put it back. Thank you. <laughs> I'll get it Leave back. Don't up. worry. She Don't did. worry. We'll she put did. it back. <laughs> like if that is not that is mother of all mothers. That is mother. That is mother. But <laughs> we love Joy in this house. Just saying. Um, <laughs> it was so good. It was so funny to watch that. It was so like to see her literally take twenty five thousand, and everybody's like, "Oh, Joy, what are you doing?" And he's like, "No, nope, I put it back." I put it back. Don't worry about Mother, it. She did. It never, it never she happened. It, 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 I never took it. But uh, anyway, so they're back in this line. So they're trying to figure out who are who they're going to let go first. And Casey is like, you know what, Kasi. I trust Kasi. She's really she's a team player, mm-hmm. and I think we should let Kasi go first. And everybody's like, okay, Fine. sure, sure. 
Sure, Kazi, Kazi, she seems nice. She seems sweet. We can trust Kazi, right? Kazi, like, okay. What confused me was like, why was everyone chiming in? Like, Kazi, 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 Kazi. Like, why are y'all doing that? Like, I could, I could see maybe like them trying to figure out if she was the mole or not. But it was just like, y'all are kind of exposing yourself a little too much. Why do all y'all trust Kazi? Like, why? What's going on, Kazi? To me, it read very much bandwagon. Yeah. Uh, because you're getting, you know, once one person says somebody's name that isn't themselves, right? If you don't agree with that name, it's going to say, oh, I don't trust you at all. And mm -hmm. like, granted, I mean, you should not trust anybody in this game, period, other than yourself. But you have to kind of work with people a little bit. Mm -hmm. And if you don't trust somebody, you can't let them know that. So once Casey said, oh, I trust Cossie, I think Cossie should do it. They kind of had to agree. Or propose another name that didn't ruffle any feathers and at that point I mean, we did get another name put out there from will being jacob yeah which also this weird bromance thing that this season has going on oh with God. like i can't. see dom and will dom and osei say dom and will and then now will and jacob 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 for a, for, for a little bit yeah, for a little bit that changes later on. Oh, but... we'll talk about that later. Uh, oh, uh, I can't yeah. wait until next week when we talk about this one scene. I'm so excited, but yeah. um, so they they say Kazi, Kazi is like, okay, sure. So the door opens, Kazi grabs the key, she unchains herself. Everybody's like, yay, Kazi, she puts the key back, and they're like, great, Kazi, you only got a minute for this door to be open. She's like, she puts her hand back in there and grabs that exemption key and walks off. I was like, we knew. She did, hey, she we did that. She <laughs> ate that up. She ate that. She ate that because once I got it, all of y'all in the line telling me you trust me, telling me you expect me not to, I'm taking the exemption uh, because that, at that point, mood. That, oh, that's on y'all. Y'all should never said that. Y'all should no, not, that's, I will, that's on y'all. I, I will say this though. Everybody in that line other than Joy had a right to be upset, I think. But I yeah. will say this, what Cossie did is arguably worse than what Joy did because Joy took money out of the pot. Cossie took money before it was in the pot, right? Cossie yep. left them in this cold, <laughs> this cold warehouse. <laughs> and he's living in luxury. <laughs> and, and, okay, on tea. Also, I don't know if this is the beginning of episode seven or the end of episode six. So I'm just going to bring it up real quick. They go to the hotel the next At, morning. That's seven. Cossie's that's seven. in this room. That's row, seven. That's seven. That's seven. That's seven. <laughs> that's seven. That's seven. <laughs> that's seven. <laughs> but yeah, she's sipping then, on some tea. Like, then, with a pinky up and everything, baby. She got Did herself she a cup. <laughs> No, but then she has the nerve. Oh, tú, tú pagaste el carro. Wait, but no, that, that that's seven. That, that's seven. So we won't we won't jump into seven. But I do think like because what we left off at six is Kazi taking the exemption, looking at him, and walking off. That's how they ended episode six. Mm -hmm. And right there, I was gooped. I was gagged. I was like, that was. So savage, she slays. So and, <laughs> yeah, and, and Greg was like, "That is so savage." I was like, "I couldn't agree more." Like that I, is, I loved every second of it, <laughs> and I would have done the exact same thing if I was Kazi because mm -hmm. all of you are letting me go yeah. first. All of you are telling me you trust me. Yeah. Well, trust yeah. that I knew I needed this exemption. Yeah. Also, period, because. And then I can talk my way out of it the next day. Give me some time to think about it and process of what I'm going to tell you. But I'm going to take it now and deal with the consequences later. That's all she did was just take what she needed now. And she knew she was going to have a whole night to spend to figure out how she's going to spend this. Yeah, I would have taken it too. And I'll worry about the spending later. And I wouldn't have said anything either. But because what do what I got think me was with Car but see, that's what got me with Kazi was that, like, you know, even though she ate that, for me, knowing my kind of temper, I would have been like, at first off, what do you mean you don't need to explain to me why you just said that? You better, I would have chained up and locked up. But even then, too, it was like, when, like, it just sent that right there, I completely knew 100% what was going on once Kazi did that. And and then what she did after, because it was just like, 
what do you mean like what like why are you acting like it's not a big deal or why have it's like how she was it was like how she was d demonstrating her emotions i was just like oh no i was just like no ma'am because i would have even got more mad because what do you mean like you're making it seem like it doesn't matter like it's okay like you you did did what you did and like i didn't sleep on cold like be for real like i just slept on this cold floor with no tea no hot chocolate no nothing no coffee i don't even all they had were ramen noodles and that's what i mean okay look look okay 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 let me let me let me play the other side the devil's advocate to this because, because in the defense of kazi what would she have said to make that situation any better. Nothing. There's nothing she up. could have said. She could have turned around like, I'm sorry, y'all. They would have been like, you sorry? What? No. But At she, that moment, there is nothing she could have said that was... I, but she just took an exemption and she made them sleep on the cold floor. So she in that it. moment, <laughs> in that moment, her turned around and saying, okay, let me explain. There's no explanation why they're but in the heat of the moment. Give but she could apologize. She could have for what? Walked for away. what? But what for what? what? Because, because <laughs> if you're this mad, was... this, this is this is where I'm coming from. If we all, if I'm already mad that this person has left me in this cold room on the floor, you turn around talk about some. I'm sorry, y'all. That ain't gonna change the fact that I'm still sleeping on this goddamn cold floor and I'm still mad. <laughs> so I'm still gonna yell at you and I'm still yeah. pissed off. So you need, need to give me some time to calm it down. So I understand. Uh, She's like, uh, you're heated. Y'all yeah. probably heated with me. So I need y'all to calm down. And tomorrow, yeah. I'll explain myself when everybody's calm. And y'all can still be mad, but you're not in that moment. I That's was my thing. stunned, though. Like, uh, uh, the entire thing, right? I was so expecting Will to just screech at her. Because it would have been so in character. <laughs> Like, okay, no, okay, this man would have been so ready to yell at her, okay, and then he mentions, th this isn't even a spoiler, I think it was during the stretch of episodes, but I'm not sure if it was during the bomb mission or not, he's, he's, he's talking about how, oh, I've never gotten an exemption, I probably should have had one at some point, and I'm like, bitch, where, did you earn one? Did you earn an exemption? It's like you earned oh $5,000 from no, um, the park. I think this was... During the the bomb the detonator the yeah it was during the detonator he's like oh if there's anyone that deserves an, an exemption it's me because I've been putting all this money into the pot yeah Ugh. and but that's the thing with what? that mentioning the whole Kasi getting the exemption I thought this man was about to pop off on her exactly and like screech at her I, I was oof, if it's I don't a, if it's scared her I don't think my mind would have been capable of watching another white man scream at another black woman on national TV oh my again. God. So okay. I I if he okay. would have popped off on Kazi in that moment, surely it was probably the like it could have been justified, but my head, I would explode it. I'm like, this big old white man is yelling at this black woman about a game again. Yeah, yeah. okay. But that's I'm sorry, me. Big Brother 23 me. has kind of ruined 24, me. On 24, 24, 24, 24, sorry. 24 has kind of ruined me on straight white men. At the yeah, that's all I'm saying. On reality that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I would have had a trigger moment. I would have been triggered. Not Y'all, not even just that. It was the fact that Joy had the nerve to be mad at Kazi. I was like, girl, what? <laughs> <you got nerve. laughs> to be fair, you got to be fair to Joy, okay? Because I, I am a Joy defender here, always. I would have been mad, too. I would have respected it, I'm but I would have been mad. But, I'm, uh, yeah, everybody has a right okay. to that, And that's why you I think... That's why. Like I said, what? I don't think... I, don't, I think you, that's why I feel like... Kazi shouldn't have said anything to them in that moment because sure they go be mad and they have every right to be mad. I'm not going to not be upset that you're mad because I am leaving you simply on the cold floor eating ramen noodles. So you have every right to be mad at me. But in well, that I moment, don't only have an exemption and I'm going to sleep in this night. And I'm going to sleep. I'm just going to go. <laughs> I'm just going to go. And then tomorrow when y'all kind of calm down just a little bit. Because you're still going to be mad, but you'll have at least enough time to think about 
process the move for the game. You're not because right in that moment you ain't thinking about the game. You think about the fact that I'm sleeping on this cold hard floor eating some ramen noodles and I'm pissed. But once you start to think about why she made the game move, we can talk about it and I can explain it. And but I ain't saying nothing to nobody in that moment because I know I just yeah. screwed the hell out of all y'all. So I'm gonna take my little existence. And I'm going to tuck away and walk away, and then we'll talk about it later. That's just me. <laughs> so, at this point in the season, we have lost Ose, Samora, Dom, technically twice, uh, Purple Sandy, and uh, Pranav. Yep. All, all five of them are out. Next person eliminated, which the next episode does start with the quiz. Yes. Uh, we will, will not talk about lost We'll talk about cast. that. Yeah, we're not going to cover that this week. That'll be next week. Yeah, we'll uh, talk about We'll have lost half the cast. Uh, and at that point, we'll be at our final six. So tune in next time for yeah. us to discuss that final six. We really had a great time today talking about the the bowl. And so next week, I mean, so we'll talk about episodes five, six, and seven. Um, um, no. Not five, no, seven, no, eight, nine. No, seven, eight, nine. What did I talk about? Four, five, six. So seven, eight, and nine. We'll talk seven, eight, and nine. And then we'll do the finale on the separate episode all by itself. So seven, eight, and nine will be next week and we appreciate you all coming and watching and checking us out you know what to do like follow subscribe if you enjoy the content and if you want to keep up with us on twitter so you know all of when we're going to drop videos follow us down below the cup at the cup underscore reality and um so you know how to Get in touch with us and we know what our schedule is going to be. Also, also, if you're just cool and you just like us because we're cool, follow us on our personal Twitters. We talk about stuff, some of us more than others, but it's okay. We, we're still cool people. We enjoy everything. And, uh, yeah, so I think that is it for us. Sorry, people are coming in the door as I speak. But, uh, yeah. We, we appreciate you guys and uh cheers y'all cheers. cheers cheers bye 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 now. bye 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 bye